Cameras on. Okay, let's go. Action. All right, let's get back to it. Oh, well, I mean, we're just kind of going into part two here pretty yeah. much. We wanted to... Uh, I thought it was going to be con continuous, so like I tried dressing the same. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, you know, you guys have changed it up a little bit. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy so. didn't change his outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the three days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a week. I man. haven't been home. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, like, what were we talking about? How's it? That's just all, I'm fucking curious. How's yeah. your day? What did you do today? Um, nothing, man. Honestly, it's just a busy work day. Yeah. Um, I was slightly hungover because... I went to the Canucks game yesterday, mm -hmm. the Wally night. You know, Canucks lost again. <laughs> are, are, are you a fan of the Canucks? I'm not really, no. So why'd you go? Um, a buddy has uh, season tickets. Yeah. And it was like the Wally night Experience. type of thing. So he's just like, yeah, you know, let's go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, the game was good. Fuck, man. Because of the TikTok success, lots of guys, yeah. you know, recognize me. Never any chicks, though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel <laughs> Never like any chicks, the chicks know? probably feel intimidated yeah, to come yeah, approach you i suppose you know but like what they want to get trolled like i'm off the market but yeah. like i would like someone to just be like hey can i just suck your dick <laughs> <laughs> and, and then i'd be like no i'm okay <laughs> but you know that's when i know while i'm in it you know <laughs> but, but right now <laughs> right now it'd be nice of, yeah it would be <laughs> you know guys are out there yeah. now buying me drinks and shit yo only runs yeah. yo your tiktok was there yeah. that, that mean, feels good too drake probably gets that so much you know what i mean oh yeah like Rappers, if I feel like they, and they, you uh, know, uh, post on your story that like, you're gonna be performing there next year. I won't be performing, but you know how like they have um, when like the ice cleaners come out. Yeah. <laughs> so for the, <laughs> so they have um, every time that happened. Like another, like I guess, uh, somewhat prominent figure in the community oh, yeah. would like <coughs> say something, try to pump up the crowd. Like Arjun Buller was there, oh, um, the uh, Bollywood bros, yeah, were yeah, there. yeah, yeah, Nancy yeah. Bunker, all that kind of yeah, shit, yeah. right? Yeah. So like yeah man they gotta give me my segment next year. <laughs> Arjun Puller he's uh, he's, he's a UFC fighter or one, one champion. One champion. Wasn't the first one to get Oma Plata? I didn't like UFC. He yeah. was he was but you know it's I mean it was he's he's done good for himself. He has done really he's yeah. the one FC champion and honestly that's probably yeah, the better yeah, yeah, market yeah. for him. Gary's it's Asia a one FC champion. Yeah Gary he's, too, right? he's, he's not, not champion. champion yet. He's not a champion. Oh, yet. He's just okay. uh, he's yeah just yeah like, he's just there. Yeah. But yeah, I think Arjun, it's it's a better fit for him to be there because yeah. UFC is gonna be tough, right? And unless you've been like there for so long and specifically training that for so long, it, yeah. it's tough, right? This is not yeah. easy. It's yeah. like a, the one percenters of them that make me absolutely. Pretty well, that sucks to have that that stat against you. That's okay. I don't know, man. It's fucking it, that. That would happen to me or you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, mm, it just sucks that it has <laughs> to be that way. I remember <laughs> we were talking about it that one yeah, time. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like and it's like fuck, man. Like, the up and the hard to get it done. It would. Right? Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like us in the podcasting world, man. Yeah. We have all the stats against us. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? everybody's like, who are these? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> beans and beers. Yeah, well, that's always gonna be it, right? When you're fucking doing something, you're making some waves, and like you don't really have that clout yet. Mm -hmm. People are gonna be like, "Who the fuck are these guys? You should just quit. Fuck you." Mm -hmm, yeah. This is <laughs> you know you that. Know, you know when we first started, um, we had um, who was it? Kim come to our house and basically tell us that he's like, "Don't do it." He's like, "You guys aren't. You know, you guys don't have enough experience." You guys it was like family that game. said don't do it too. Like really? There's all sorts bro, bro, of shit. Bro. Let's talk about that. In terms okay, of family, yeah, we have, bro, we have so many. It's like so many of our close cousins, family members, saw that we've you know started mm -hmm. the podcast again. But I don't think one of them has reached out and been like, "Yo, congrats, boys." Yeah. Other than like our immediate, maybe my sisters or like you know our parents, kind of like, yeah. "Okay, you know what I mean." But, what's but been, they're oh, sorry, watching sorry. our stories. Yeah. Everybody's knowing what's going on, but no one's really like, you know, congrats, yeah. boys. Like, Absolutely. you know, even our closest cousins. You know, it's one of those things that within our community, like, we put work and, like, making money such a forefront type of thing yeah. that, like, being a creative, uh, quote-unquote, is such a foreign yeah, thing. thing. And yeah. they're just going to view it as fucking wasting time. Like, my dad even tells me, like, okay, I went to the Canucks game yeah. yesterday. He's like, why the fuck are you going? He's like, you're just going to spend money there and watch these other guys play a game and make millions, millions of dollars. Of dollars. Well, what do you get out of it? Yeah. Why don't you fucking, you know, go... <laughs> do some, facts get, and <laughs> he's like, go do some, He's like, go do some real estate shit, research, yeah, yeah. do something, right? He's like, work that way. And then, like, you know, they know I do some of the creative stuff, but, yeah. like, not to the extent. Mm -hmm. But, like, 100%. It's just like, why the fuck are you wasting your time? Like, you know, this and that. Mm -hmm. And that's always from family. Yeah. My brother's told me all the time. He's like, stop wasting your fucking time. Do something that actually Older makes brother? you money. Yeah. 
How's yeah. that dynamic? Uh, you know, we, we're brothers, right? We're going to have fucking issues, but overall, like, I think we're okay for the yeah. most part. You know, he's family man now, and we're all older, so we have, like, a mutual understanding. Yeah. But it, that just Has it ever it. been a conflict where he's like... Always, man. Always, like, always, always, always. But you have that respect for him? Well, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, older, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Like no, he's helped me out a lot in, yeah. in my life, and, you know, it's a big part of who I am is because of him, but... In general, like, you know, you're going to clash, right? And, like, you know, there's moments one day that you like each other, one day you don't, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's just always going to be a dynamic. Yeah. And, like, especially when you're kind of carving out your own way mm. and, like, kind of going off and doing other shit, then there's always going to be some sort of resistance, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that just kind of goes. But, yeah, I mean, back to the family thing and friends, like, people that are closest around you are going to be like, oh, like, you know, yeah. aren't you afraid of the backlash and shit like that? And, like, you know, mm-hmm. I've seen it firsthand. Shit gets pretty dark, you know, when you yeah, yeah. when you have a bit of a <laughs> fucking scandal on Bramley <laughs> Road, right? Bramley Road. Bramley Road. Bra- what Road. happened to that page? It's still there. It's Isn't still there. It? Yeah, yeah. What happened to him? I don't, I don't know. know. I was just saying, like yeah. when you do the scandal on Bramley Road, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like you have some backlash, you have some comments and stuff like yeah. that. That's basically where your yeah. like main like yeah. things basically were like at that time, yeah. and then and now obviously. Now steering into that, like yeah. today you posted a TikTok. So yeah. what was the TikTok exactly? So and like what? I saw yeah, some okay. of the responses. Actually, I want to pull. I wanted yeah. to pull up a couple. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll explain <laughs> okay. it. So basically yeah. today, I don't know anything about. Got the yeah. chat logs. Yeah. So basically today, what I posted was, and this one went pretty fucking crazy. I think I got like twenty three thousand views on it already, and like only like, rants. Wait, wait. Before before we do that, right? Oh, how do you think about the only rants? Like it's only fans. You just that's the are yeah, you gonna yeah, start yeah. one? I don't, well, I don't know, maybe, but yeah, like yeah. I could be like a content guy on only rants. I mean, yeah, on only fans. That's yeah. a smart idea. No, you gotta go balls to the wall, bro. Oh, just if you're gonna do it, showing my sack. <laughs> no, you, you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a limp cock kick, oh. right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, yeah. uh, so I posted the thing. No, no. Maybe we should. Okay. Let him, yeah. let him okay. Go for it. Okay. Sh- or should we like kind of hold a break here and like yeah, yeah. we'll switch the screen yeah, where it yeah, shows yeah. us and then we'll go. Yeah. Into put it. it. Put it. Put on the TikTok <laughs> on the screen. Okay. okay yeah. yeah. Go. Okay. Explain the story. Okay. <laughs> 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 now oh. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh. This is oh. something that's been discussed. I didn't think this was that bad. And he wrote it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta hear. You gotta hear this. But if you can't see it, like, I think they should just kind of show it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. kind of hard to explain. So, okay, yeah. well, explain so it. Basically, <laughs> like, only people within our community would really understand this is that, like, you know, you get the prashad and then you come back and, <laughs> and you know, a lot of guys rub the, the, the beard oil that comes from the prashad into their beard. And it's just, yeah. like, a pretty common thing. And, like, you know, I just poked a little bit of fun at it, yeah. like, whatever it is. And it's, like, it's not really trying to, like, hate on the culture or religion or anything like that. One guy's trying to twist it into that. This guy. And, yeah. And, like, I mean, I think anytime you do push the envelope a little bit, it's yeah. going to happen. And I'm responding because, like, I'm still trying to cope with, like, not dealing with the negative comments. Yeah. And I can't really, like, but uh, let's help play, myself. Let's play devil's advocate. Yep. Just to, just so that yep. you can put it out there. So this guy's basically saying that next... um that you're basically gonna you're making fun of the sangat and our culture. But what is the sangat? What so, is the sangat? So, That's so, the people, right? Yeah. So my question to you is this. Yeah. Did you make that video knowing that this might be um, Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not, man. I just fucking, you know, did whatever it was. Like we've yeah. laughed about this within our circles a million times, you know yeah. what I mean? Um I don't do anything that's purposely provocative unless yeah. like I openly say this is purposely provocative. Mm-hmm. Most of shit I kind of go out is what it is. It, what? But you can see the the positive <laughs> yeah. response is way more overwhelming than oh, the yeah. negative, right? Oh, yeah. People love that. Yeah, it's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's just something that you have to deal with. I think if anyone actually has a problem, the easiest way to just kind of come to an understanding is just DM me. Let's talk about it. And that's it, right? We're press, uh, no, press but you need button. that. No, you well, need, I'm you not need, pressing you no button. No, 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 not you. Yeah. That person. Like I said, they don't want to see could, your content if it's that big of a deal. You no? know, there is a group of people out there that are looking to police this kind of shit too, right? No, but you, you need that, man. You, yeah. need, you need the haters and you need the, the trolls. Yes. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's what balances it. Absolutely. Like, right? And I mean, like, this is not like my first time I've had to deal with this. So, like, mm-hmm. it does kind of come in. You know, this is a good segue from last uh, episode with, like, the Jyoti K thing happened at that time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where she had made fun of the guys who had their pogs on too tight or something like that. Like, yeah. She said that. And, like, honestly, like, again, 
amongst our own circles, you say that, like, it's probably not going to get that dicey hmm. because like you know like my friends who are saying have kind of be like said that to me it's like dude mm-hmm. your butt got on too tight today you're not fucking thinking clearly mm-hmm. that's like a it's a normal comment do, right? do your like, close buddies make jokes like that of course and absolutely get, man of Abs- course mm-hmm. not of course not man. In fact, otherwise what's the point of us even being close buddies mm-hmm. you know what i mean we gotta you gotta dish it out and you can fucking take it as yeah, well right yeah, that's all course. that's just normal yeah. and um at that point Whatever, I ripped on her a little bit, and then fucking there was some Captain Save hose coming in to mm. take her side there, and then it all be all of a sudden it became a thing of oh I don't respect women and fucking this and that and all this I'm fucking misogynist etc yeah. etc. Cetera, et cetera. Then people started looking at me under a microscope mm-hmm. because I ripped that guy you know pretty hard um, whatever the fuck his name is it was hard or something. Whatever it was, oh, yeah. the guy that said that uh, we're gonna be in the Breakfast Club or whatever Punjabi Breakfast Club, oh, that fucking yeah. guy, yeah, oh. a big DM. I, you know, something, some something, fucking you know, hair that's girl. just that's just some guy that really doesn't get any. So he tried yeah, coming in I and mean, being like, you know, I don't even know if that's what it was. I think that guy's actually not all there. You know what I mean? There's something, mm-hmm. there's a screw loose or yeah. something there, and. <laughs> You know, I didn't realize that right away. So I kept going back and forth to this guy until I fucking got it. But it was too late at that point. Yeah. Because this guy went ballistic. He started sending my shit to everyone. Yeah. And then, you know, I was catching heat from like a whole bunch of people from the community when the religious side of the community started coming at me then. And they were just like, oh, like, you know, fucking, you know, our gurus had said this stuff about, uh, you know, respecting women and things like that. And like, you know, anytime that shit gets involved, like, it's kind of like, fuck, like, I'm, yeah. I'm in a corner now. Yeah. What am I going to say? It's like, fuck, like, you know, obviously I'm not the sickiest of sicky guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I try to, you know, be a better person. But like, now I'm treading this line. I'm fighting this battle. And like, you know, what if it escalates to like this, like overarching you know the community is like against me type yeah. of thing, right? and it felt like that for a bit um, and then it kind of eventually blew over and like there was one guy that was there he was like oh like you know you're gonna get checked and like you know and then the fucking mm-hmm. jukka and me comes out too and like you're gonna <laughs> check me or who are you gonna check mm-hmm. <laughs> you know <laughs> who, who is this? It, was, it was some guy yeah, it was one of those guys in that community Nice. And um, me and him actually ended up having a conversation. We came to that understanding. Pretty like it, it was yeah. it was okay. Mm-hmm. But like some of these guys, when they, you know, attach themselves to something, it's because they're trying to like cover up something of their own past. You what know do what you I mean by that? Some sort of insecurity or something. So maybe not the insecurity, but like the whole like respect women thing, right? There was one guy there that I think. You're breathing into the mic. Oh, sorry. Oh, I think he had just like kind of. Um, he became woke temporarily, but like. He was, um, what do you call it? I think he had like a crazy drinking past or something like that. Then he changed. Like to make a drastic change from being like a heavy alcoholic into a guy who's all about spiritualism and, you know, walks a straight edge and stuff. Like, you know, what what was that that breaking point? And that a lot of people we don't under, we don't really see. Because like most of the most Siddhi guys that I know, yeah. even uncles as well, this, like, and they're straight edge now. But their past are all like, these guys were fucking drunks. They were getting into scraps. They were doing kind of this kind of shit. And that extreme swing on the other side led yeah. to this extreme swing on the other. Mm-hmm. So your life's not under the microscope, mm-hmm. as mine might be in that situation. But then you're going to try to just paint me as like the piece of shit. Which is, th- that's just, that social media though. But you then again, that. like if you're on this straight edge, like now you're all spiritual and all this other stuff. You're not focusing on what's going on. In this sort of social like media environment, like right? That. Like you're not going out of your way to pick a battle with someone. There, when you're on that yeah. spiritual journey, you're trying to understand, okay, why did this guy say this? You're mm-hmm. not trying to come at him and be like, yo, I'm going to expose you yeah. and like go out there and do all this other bullshit. You know, that's, then are you yeah. really on a spiritual journey? That, I think then you yeah. got more. It just seems research. like trying to look for attention. Well, that's all well, it is. I, yeah, I guess oh. that's a segue into, you know, doing that sort of thing. Like, you know, makeup like being like a girl who makes it big in makeup there's mm. obviously some that have been extremely successful yeah and then i think these days when people are as shallow i don't know if i want to use the word shallow but like looking good is such a priority i think yeah that whereas like you know you see like let's say a pink orchid like who's obviously killed it they're yeah. they're operating at the they're highest like level the pioneers yes like, yeah uh-huh. but like maybe you're like okay maybe if they have five hundred thousand people Maybe I can get 50,000 people at least, and then maybe I can make a dollar off each of those people per mm-hmm. month. 
So like, you know, you probably mm, start yeah, doing yeah, math yeah. like that, right? Mm. Maybe like I'd rather get paid to do makeup and fucking look good that, than yeah. maybe have like a real job where I was like, I have to do fucking accounting or bookkeeping. Stock shelves. Or, yeah, Walmart yeah. Absolutely shit yeah. like that, right? Yeah, yeah it makes sense for them. Their I guess. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the better you look, the yeah. fucking more attractive man you're going to sort out as well, right? Yeah. That guy's going to take Probably more high value. Yeah. Call it, you might not even have to worry about absolutely. fucking makeup. Hundred percent. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's sense, yeah. what it is. It's like when it gets into the stuff of like, they have the exact same thing, but now they're showing off their body and they're showing off their tits, and then yeah. they're calling people pigs for looking at that. Now that's now now that's <laughs> fucking bullshit. What do you mean by that? Like, <laughs> it's the <laughs> thirst traps, <laughs> man. The thirst traps. So I, what, what do you think? You that's like, what do you think that somebody is? Posting a thirst trap like that, bro. For okay, it's fucking. It's to trap guys like me, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but that's a, okay. That's the question I was trying to ask. Yeah, I think maybe I asked it in the wrong way. So what I'm trying to say is, a girl that's on TikTok live, that's like Randy just said, showing her whatever the situation may be, that isn't really about makeup, but is trying to be some sort of influencer. Yeah. What is she really gaining um, from putting herself out there like that? Other than yeah. like. Like it'd be different if you have you're influencing like a a big amount of women mm -hmm. that are like watching you, but you got like probably a bunch of fake ass accounts in there from people mm -hmm. you know, females Possibly. hating on you. Yeah. Right. Then you got a bunch of weirdos, mm -hmm. brown guys in there making some dirty comments, which yeah. is why you got two moderators trying to make sure that you know mm -hmm. everything stays normal. Then you're on the live, checking people in your comments yeah. because they're in there. So then it like kind of like, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's just like the build up. Like it's kind of a slow grind, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like you know, think about it. Like we've been at this what fucking five years now, basically. Yeah. Like we're not at a monetary success standpoint. Like we've all done some cool stuff now. We've yeah. met some cool people. We met each other through this, and mm -hmm. like I'm I'm better off for all the shit that I've done. Mm. But in terms of like making money, like I haven't really broke through to that end of it mm -hmm. but, but when you see the few that do break through you think it's possible because you're like what separates yeah. them from well, me i just think at the end of the day they're mm. still trying to do it. even if they just the more the person like acts like they, it's a whole act of the not caring nothing yeah. it's it's but like it's it's a been the formula it's been the like artist formula yeah. it's been the like uh yeah. famous celebrity formula yeah. not giving yeah. a fuck being private yeah. not letting somebody into your life all that stuff so yeah. you have that mystery about you and yeah. that's why people give a fuck about but you. but i think it's also having that attention man like i think of you, course a lot of, a lot of, a lot of yeah. Yeah, People don't want to admit it, but it's it. like, bro, attention is a big part of it. Absolutely. How is it not? Yeah. I think so. You wake up in the morning, you've got like 30, 40, yeah. you know, DMs or some sort of thing. Mm -hmm. That's a dopamine rush. Yeah. I, I, you know I think, what I mean? I think that's fucking definitely part of it, man. Like, why are any content creators kind of doing anything, right? Yeah. I think it goes back to psychologically. Andrew Schultz actually said it. Mm -hmm. He's like, why are we stand up comedians or why do we put this out? It's because, like, somewhere along the line, we didn't feel important. Yeah. And we don't feel worthy of praise, so we try to give people back something to get praise. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those deep seated things. And mm -hmm. I, I thought about that. I was like, yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. If he, you want to take a look at my psyche. He was re receiving some backlash from his fans too. Oh, about, yeah, that, uh, that, the food thing he said? No, 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 about Kanye, uh, uh, about saying about like how he's kind of sold out on it yeah. and stuff like this, and his opinions are like that. Yeah. Kanye got can then he just apparently yeah. he just dropped him, Gap dropped yeah. him, Aaron Donald dropped That's him, Rams. But okay, let's be him. real. Aaron Donald dropped him because other brands probably yeah, yeah, came up to him and was like, "You either drop Kanye mm -hmm. or we drop you." Yeah. And what are you gonna do in that? I was actually thing? just talking to Ananda about this yeah, on the way here, him. and I was talking to one of my buddies. This might be a situation where he's being as outlandish as possible to get dropped because his contracts probably won't let him walk out on his own yeah. unless the companies themselves drop him. And maybe he's learned enough about fashion and all that kind of shit as much as he could right now where he doesn't really need the big brands anymore. Yeah. He's like, he's better off on his own and he can make more money and become more of a fucking like the conglomerate. No, not conglomerate. Like I guess oligarch of whatever the fuck it is. Fashion. 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 And like that might be it. Like this is his formula that he's used forever. It's like stay in hiding, come out, start, start saying some crazy shit, make yeah. a big announcement and everyone fucking buys it. Mm. And that's always been this guy's formula. I don't know why people are so, you know, screwed up about it now. This always happens. And I mean, they forget. I mean, when he said slavery was a choice, nobody dropped him. Fuck, he faced a Adidas, lot of backlash. Maybe he did, he, but Adidas didn't let go of him. Yeah. Nobody let go of him then. 
Yeah. And it's like all of a sudden now, you know. Well, what he's I mean? going after Jewish people now, right? But who yeah. really runs? Yeah. It? Who runs? Who runs who, it? Yeah. Who runs that shit, right? right? Yeah. So you gotta um, you gotta really look at the deeper picture, yeah. too, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, feel that like could be part there's of it. more to it than just what we see. But obviously, it's entertainment industry. Yeah. Right, he's also saying shit that it's a whole like yeah. you know what I mean. But we're paying attention at the That's end of the it. day. Yeah. You know why are we even talking about it? It's just yeah. a, like realistically, it's a rich black guy who's talking about you know t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. And and like you know making outlandish Shoes claims. Yeah, yeah. I mean okay. the value of a Yeezys probably go up now, doesn't it? Probably. Yeah. Why? Probably. Because Adidas is dropping. Yeah. Them, and they're uh, removing yeah. the shoes from. Yeah. Them. They they probably will go up. Yeah. There's always somebody who's gonna want them. <laughs> probably yeah. profit off that. Yeah. Absolutely, but Look, anyways, yeah, the- that's it, man. I mean, like I said, you know, um, like it just it. comes back into that same thing. What were we talking about here? Where talk about okay. the one thing um, that we saw. Uh, so the so okay, so there's a few controversies around Dwali uh, yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. I've as I've seen mm-hmm. fireworks, big one. Yeah, people yelling and screaming, getting drunk till one two a.m. Yeah. in the streets of Surrey. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's number two. Okay. And number three controversy is, um, what's the fucking one? Or the, the scrap and the littering and all that? Oh, yeah. yeah. The pollution yeah. or fucking pollution. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the littering. Wait, we talked about the, the video, whole, right? The whole, yeah, the video I said. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. So this is Walmart, uh, at Walmart. And then um, I saw some guys cleaning it up, which yeah. is very nice of them too. But just the fact that like it would even happen in the first mm-hmm. place the whole fuck it was pretty fucked yeah it was pretty bad. bad it was bad give people yeah. the, o- the over like what what happened here so basically a bunch of a bunch i'm not gonna s- say it was like just guys i don't know who India the fuck was there but the i just know it, but it was a bunch of students. operating let's just call them let's call them more likely they were probably well i think it's more so we're not it's more so of an excuse to just go out and bother like you know yeah 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 you absolutely. know what i mean make noise cheat gun do drink yeah. party it's just an excuse absolutely that's all it is so they went out there got a little out of hand mm-hmm. um, and apparently there's a fight i saw some Khalistan flags on one Pins side it. i saw some really? india flags on another side i don't know if that was photoshop or what it was but i know i there's, saw that there's a brawl sure. too right there was a brawl yeah. too yeah what does a 400 person brawl means that probably means like 10 people rumble yeah that <laughs> probably means 10 people yeah. scrapping and then a lot of people breaking it up yeah. right yeah i'm like 400 I mean, people scrapping. People, bro? <laughs> yeah. obviously it's getting out of hand yeah you know what I mean? It's obviously because But that's just fucking like ridiculous. Like but like if you're a Gora driving by, you see 400 yeah. days in a parking lot going crazy, you're going to get you know? well, okay. And then you guys have to be uh, like, you know, we deserve to be accepted. You know what I mean? Like what the she, fuck? Like what is, I don't understand. No. Like we can't be doing that <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah. Like you can't litter the whole entire fucking Walmart parking lot. Like, bro, that was, No yeah. chance, bro. Okay. Last time, you know, I took a, you know, I had some choice <laughs> words about students. No, see. And like it. I got killed. No, I'm actually, I've grown a little bit I, I will, I've become more <laughs> empathetic <laughs> you know I'm gonna take their side yeah. on this one right. now obviously it's Diwali yeah, yeah, up, uh, there's a lot more people out now COVID ended you know it, it's almost accepted that you're out so you're gonna lose your mind a little bit more this okay. same shit happens all across the world there's always there I don't know how much fucking debris and shit is left over but like you know think about what just happened in the states with all the riots and like fucking shits like Same. looting yeah, and yeah. shits like on fire etc cetera, etc cetera. those are You're you comparing know this to looting I'm not, yeah but I'm but not, what I'm, I'm, I'm but saying like those are but, responses but at to the like same time right? we shouldn't be defending it I don't think even I don't though think we just have be, to defend it we yeah, don't have to defend it I don't it. think we should defend it the thing is like you know a lot of these guys they don't have the fear of of home. They don't have their family. They here. don't have their family yeah. here to keep them in check. You know, like they, like a lot of guys, like my cousin, he is a prime example of, um, like the quote unquote bad student. Mm-hmm. Not, not the good one. Like the quote unquote bad student. Like yeah. you know, they'll like hack butts inside. Like I've partied with these guys. Like they're just fucking shit up. Like breaking bottles and like you know for no reason. We went uh, downtown one day. And then, like, you know, just like this had the, you know, the, the six pack of Coronas mm-hmm. and then you're finishing the bottles and just Amit Amelie throwing the bottles outside the window on Granville Street. No reason. Not yeah. like the downtown strip, but like, you know, like leading up to that. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. reason. But that's just part of the scene. I, they just like really enjoy, you know, fucking shit up. And Jeez, then like menaces. Y- to yeah. Society. And you get, <laughs> you get busted. Yeah. You know, you don't really have your parents to, you know, like, like what the fuck yeah. are you doing? You know, this and that. Unless you get deported and then you're in fucking shit. But beyond that, 
you know, you spend the night in the drunk tank, you get released the next day, you fucking yeah. laugh about it. And honestly, it's it was a fucking good time. I'd be lying to you and saying that it wasn't fun. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. <laughs> Bumping the Sidhu Musa while yeah. fucking rolling around doing whatever and like screaming at girls. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and you just getting out doing punk everywhere. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck. It was it was an experience, man. Like luckily I don't do that too much. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's but, exactly it. They don't have the yeah. accountability a lot of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. But that's a little bit I feel like the culture from back home too, right? Like cuz I feel like back in the right. band you could do whatever the fuck you want, man. I suppose I think it's more I really don't think people are going to be rolling around like that if their parents are around. Yeah. It doesn't matter what so the that's what it is. I think it is. You got that new set of the I didn't know, there. like 400 is a lot of people. Yeah. You know, the fuck yeah. did they yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously I think there should be like some sort of fear. Yeah. So I feel like if the government needs to step up and be like, okay, well, now we're going to start sending some home. If it's those guys yeah. doing it, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's kids born from here up yeah. that are doing it too. Was it the scrap though or was it just the littering? Okay, because so honestly, it okay, the scrap, whatever. But what I saw was okay, bro. It wasn't just like littering. Yeah, like, it was everywhere. It was bad. Yeah, like yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. Dake everywhere. Yeah. There's like garbage. Like look at it across the whole it, entire park. But yo, no, what I think about is like okay, yeah. Luckily, some uh, uh, Punjabi guys went down there yeah. and they cleaned mm -hmm. it up, right? But imagine like they didn't go there. Imagine mm -hmm. the fucking Walmart worker, little twelve yeah. twelve dollars an hour guy that's got to clean that shit up next. Where are the cops to clear out that parking lot when they're just seeing that many people hanging out? But yeah, that's exactly it. Like maybe like you know, students from India are they're like a, a lightning rod for negative attention, right? And like mm -hmm. I think there is a bit of a narrative that's kind of pushed on it. But at the same time, it's just like that same thing, like. You can go back to something as simple as how come brown... I mean, white girls don't like brown guys. It's like, because, you know, we're viewed as douchebags. Mm -hmm. It's not all of them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you're doing shit like this, and the videos that it are going viral... It gets microscope. Yeah, yeah. That's it. The videos it's, that are yo, going viral... It's literally viral, the same okay, conversation <laughs> we had years ago yeah. that but, we but, said that the, about the good and the, like, the bad. But, but let's like, be real. There's, there's why why is that narrative pushed so hard amongst our community? Whereas, like, brown girls or, like, brown guys are so... Blah blah blah. What is it? Because we what are we assholes. Done? Absolutely. I mean, fuck. Man. We, we, yeah. I mean, we're dickheads, man. I mean, there's no other two ways about it. Mm. I think each person is capable of understanding and being a nice guy. Yeah. And then each person, you know, put you in the bad mood. You know, you're gonna mod some card some gala. Mm -hmm. You're gonna swear a little bit, and you're gonna take a stance that might not even actually be you, but you know, just because now you've taken that stance, you got to take it, and you got a strong arm. It be like, no, this is the way, and that's it. And I think that strong arm approach is the only thing that people will pay attention to to yeah. make you a whole person. They're not going to look at all the positive qualities when they want to characterize you as a negative person. They're going to yeah. look at that one time you said this, that one time you did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes down to. And that's always going to be the case, man. People who want to see the good in you, they will. Mm. People who don't, they have a million reasons to fucking look at you. But I feel like it's also this. I feel like women build like this sort of emotional attachment. Like 90% of the times with brown guys, you can tell when a brown guy ain't about you. And you know when he's using you. You yeah. know what I mean? And a girl will... We've heard this millions of times where the friend's like, yo, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. But she'll continually choose to be in that relationship or with that person knowing yeah. that, I mean, it's a bad situation. I feel like None that's... Is X, right? <laughs> 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 Shout out the FaceTime call. <laughs> <laughs> I got a FaceTime call yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then, bro, it was the funniest thing because she pocket dialed. So I pick it up. How, and wait, how did she pocket dial? How are you she on that? The, I think she's on Canucks game. But how did it land on you? Actually, I guess. Okay, yeah. Right? <laughs> Maybe she saw you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she saw the podcast yeah, in the back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I had yeah. this theory. I was like, she saw the podcast. You know, she saw Nandi. Maybe she's trying to get through, you know. Well, power of the universe. Like, you, you know, know put everything mean? into sequence. But yeah, she, she, she basically. She basically <laughs> calls and then she she realizes that it pocket down. She grabs the phone, looks at the phone, she's like, and then she f quickly tries cutting the phone. Yeah. But I'm like, then I said the same thing. I'm like, bro, how does someone just call by accident all of a sudden? Yeah. But then again, it's a so you never. I mean, know. it could happen, yeah, but they, you know, girls do weird fucking shit like yeah, that all man. the time, man. I so think so. <laughs> that's just, that's hey, all I know even if God she did knows. it, yeah, she God did, knows. man. God knows. Girls do weird shit yeah, like God that, knows. but they are fucking equally big idiots too about stuff like that, you know. There's so many times, like, a guy, like, knows where a girl's going, like, you know, because she doesn't fucking put her Snapchat map on yeah. private or anything like that. You posted, oh, I didn't know you were here. You've done this? 
Not me, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like Snapchat map. Yeah. Holy but fuck. Snapchat map. See, so here's the one thing. Like, I do have friends on it today. Actually, I'll fucking show you this. Yeah. You can see someone to the house where they are right now. And yeah, I told so, so many yeah. girls, like, who are turn friends of mine. Off, yeah. I'll be like, dude, turn that fucking shit off. How do you get to the map? You got to do the little swipey thingy. I think there it is. So, like, right here. You see this guy? Yeah. Um, fucking bang. Like, where I know his he? house, bro. Oh, Look at that. Man. He's there. Hey. Hi, hi. Buddy, we know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. shit like that. And then, like, like th I will tell you this. There have been times that there was a girl I was crushing on was going to be at some club, right? Hmm. And I knew she was being at some club, you know. Maybe I might have fucking, you know, looked at her story a little bit. And then, mm -hmm. like, I was already downtown. And I was like, fuck, there's, like, no chicks around at yeah. that direct time. So I'm like, fuck, man, maybe we should go to this place. Mm -hmm. I know this one chick that's there. Yeah. Hopefully something can occur. And then you go in there and you see you're making out with another guy. Mm -hmm. And you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> that's part of it though she was never mine that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy still pain <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's you know <laughs> I've been more dookie about yeah. that than fucking actual relationship <laughs> Fuck, man. She, the you one know, that got away the she, she Thursday like, night at Tap House <laughs> she liked me if she got to know me man but it was some wild stories probably at Tap House eh on top, I mean, yeah. fuck, that's man. Your, that's your stomping ground. Whoa, that, was, yeah. that was it, man. I mean, honestly, it's just been, like, good times here and there. It's mm. just, anytime you got too many operating in one spot, it's bad. I can tell you another fun story yeah. about this one time that just comes off the top of my head where I was speaking to this one girl, and she talked to me for, like, 10 minutes, bro. Yeah. We had a drink. We were laughing. I wasn't, like, you know, it wasn't physical at this point. Yeah. There's a little bit. She's hitting me. <laughs> a lot of burps. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, she's hitting my shoulder, laughing. Uh, Stop this. Hey, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. You're so bad. Touchy. And I'm just like, okay. Hey. You know, this is going somewhere good. Yeah. I Some feel. girls, John, could do that. Yeah. You know? She was there with her husband. Yeah. Oh. That guy was, I don't know, he was hacking a butt or fucking <laughs> doing something. That guy's like, hey, that's my wife. And I'm just like, whoa, like, I, I'm, like, you know, it's your wife, that's your wife. I don't want no smoke, man. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. Tika, yeah. I'll back Live up. your life, But bro. he's coming in like a fucking yeah. rhino. <laughs> that's my wife. Uh, that's at that my point, wife. you got to check your girl, right? Whatever the hell it is, I guess so. But, like, you know, some guys have these bad relationships with their wives or girlfriends or whatever the fuck it is. And they John can do it just to piss the guy off. Mm, I have oh. this theory that every single girl, including my girlfriend, mm. Wants to see her man get shit kicked. What? I have this theory. And Why? like, it's just because like, really? especially if you're in a relationship where like, it's not exactly 50-50. Like I'm like mine. I'm pretty liberal guy. I'm pretty mm. progressive. You know, I let a lot of shit fly. You know, the other podcast you were saying, oh, are you trying to mold her or like, you know, mm. whatever the hell it was. There's like a few times where like I let shit go and like she makes a lot of decisions and stuff like that's fine. Mm. But I'm in charge. And I think in those relationships, especially, like, they just want to be like, I wish I could see this guy get fucking shit kicked. Really? You know, put this guy in his place. They have it, man. It's exciting for them, right? What? It's exciting for I them. I feel bro. like if they saw what you get <laughs> What do you, what, why? I don't, okay. no, man. If they saw you getting shit kicked, don't you think they'd lose a little bit? It's of possible, but then they're nurturing you as well, right? They yeah, might, you know, they're like, oh, you know, oh, it's baby. not so bad. Yeah. Now they kind of got him. Okay. But now they got you, right? Be like, oh, maybe you shouldn't act like that because, like, look, that happened. Oh, <laughs> you know, they they feel like it. It's not a it's not a theory based in any fact or anything, but like I just I I have this feeling. I know my girlfriend wants to see me get shit kicked. Actually, sure. yeah. maybe not shit kicked, but like you know, a a on here and there, like, and yeah. maybe me throw a couple back to yeah, like you get in a scrap and you lose. Yeah, but like you like you, you know, it's like <laughs> defended her honor. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know? like it was like yeah, a guess. ten nine round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like cut. fucking Sean O'Malley. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, did you watch the yeah, UFC? You what did you robbed, think about robbed, that? Robbed, 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 robbed. Yeah. Yeah. Sean O'Malley fucking brutal man like yeah. I like Sean as well yeah, but Peter yeah. Yan shit kicked him I thought Peter Yan won all three rounds mm, I yeah, Khabib was saying the same thing and um, what was the other fight uh, TJ Dillashaw yeah he had a shoulder the UFC. Yeah. Fucking Islam versus Charles, like what a shit kicking man! I felt Easy. so bad for Charles, man. I'm Those a big. I like Charles. Are gonna run the game, man. I guess so, but you know who actually can make it happen? Benil Dariush. Dariush, yeah. because that guy he fought. <laughs> he Khabib was even pumping that guy. He's like, yeah. oh, this guy's wrestling is crazy. Like yeah. he's like yeah. at their level, and he couldn't take him down after the first round. Yeah, Darush. so maybe that guy could do it. I don't I know. So. It'll be interesting to see. It's like everybody they get that thing. Like maybe, maybe, but bro. Their it's wrestling's another level. Yeah. Oh, you know what? He made Oliveira look easy. Bro, it's yeah. how can you beat a guy who's not 
like he doesn't care about pussy. Yeah. Doesn't care about partying. Yeah. Doesn't care about yeah. fucking yeah. anything. Favela, man. All he does is train. No, like and yeah, man, they're just fucking like you know they're praying to God <laughs> and they fucking eat mm-hmm. and that's it. Like they train. Pray to God, eat. And they're high elevation. They have serious? another youngin' coming up who's apparently pretty good. They have a bunch of guys, yeah. man. That's gonna, gonna be over. tough. So I wanted to ask no. uh, about the Canucks game yesterday. Mm. What was the energy like in the arena? Um, because they're so shitty. fucking shit. I think you know yesterday was the Diwali night, so it's more of like a, like a, a big opera yeah. opera turnout. You know, they're, know they're, what's they're, going on. Yeah, it's you know Canucks games have always been more of a status thing. <laughs> Yeah, you see that on the girl post <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always been more of a status thing. Like, yeah. oh, I'm at the game. you know. Yeah. This, and I think that's just how the city's, you know, shaped out. No one really cares. It's more of a night out. Yeah, it's yeah. a night out. You know, yeah. you went Drink, out, drank yeah. some beers, talked some shit. Fuck, man, people were out, though, man. Like, I got so much love there. I think I already said this. Ma- <laughs> ma- mainly from Bundy? Just, just from Bundy, yeah. No, I see, just from Bundy. Like, one, you know what? Actually, I was at the Home Depot earlier today, and yeah. the cashier was like, hey, you're only around, right? I'm like, yeah. He's oh, like, yeah. he's like, man, I love your videos, man. It's so funny. Me and my sister watch them all the time. Yeah. I'm like, sick, man. I was like, so what's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> what's her app, bro? <laughs> oh, man. I see. Here's you the don't thing. Spare him. Yo, first here's video thing. on only your <laughs> Yo, that's the first sign. Yeah. Right? Like, you're starting to get yeah. some sort of clout. You're getting starting Absolutely. to get. That's what I'm saying. Like, even if there's haters, man. Yeah, that's that's, that's part of it. That's a part of the game. But, you know, like, I think I always found, um, you know, with girls, like, it was like this I don't need uh, to have sex with you. I just need to know that you're down. And that's like a win for me. But why do you need that? Huh? Well, I mean, it's just, it's ego inflation. There's mm-hmm. nothing else to yeah, it. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Just like, you know, I I wouldn't at this point because I wouldn't really want to fuck up my situation. He's in a relationship. I'm good. He's not going to yeah, be like, but you know I mean? obviously he's like, not going to admit on air that I'd actually go. No, like, he's always no, going to make no, it seem no, like, come on, all man. I need is you to say I it. Am, I'm in a loving relationship. Are brown man. boys loyal? Uh-huh. Brown boys are not. Brown men are. <laughs> yeah. Brown men don't cheat, man. Yeah, yeah. Brown men don't cheat, man. That was smart. what? You know, like, you know, I don't know, like, Yo, you're in bad. You know, you're in love, man. Uh, Gucci man actually said it best, huh? and nice. he's like, you know, it was in this interview. I can't remember which one. I think it was Charlemagne, and he's like, he's like, yo, you know, all these girls saying Gucci's a snack, you know, this and that, and he's like, this guy's like, fuck them bitches. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna fuck up my like, you know, years of relationship and like a good woman just for a little bit of pussy. Mm. He's like, I'd be a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. That's true. Honestly, like, especially like once you get married and you know, yeah, you got you stuff found like that. The one. Well, it's you true. Found the one. <laughs> I can hear it in your words, man. <laughs> you definitely found the one. But imagine you're established. You got fucking two, three properties now. You <laughs> have a kid, and you get busted cheating. Hmm. That pus- piece of pussy. I'm gonna, you know, objectify it like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because that's usually who you. you you're not gonna fuck around with someone of quality. You're fucking around with trash usually. Okay. Usually. And yeah, for that, you're gonna throw away fucking, you know. Million, two million dollars okay, of your fucking it, half look, net look, worth. Look at it from a deeper point now. Mm-hmm. What made you want to go cheat? Don't put it in your name. What made you want to go cheat? Yeah, you got a dick. Is is it just <laughs> is it just a pleasure? I think it's or just a pleasure. Is something at home not right, and now you're trying to look for? I don't think Bundy are gonna cheat that way. Yeah, I don't think Bundy cheat that way. Like. I think we're kind of just like, unless like the home situation is really bad. Yeah. But that's an affair. That's not necessarily cheating. Mm. People will find another girlfriend. They'll find another like some other guy's Hard wife, you know. Okay, so you're telling me you're. An affair <laughs> is what happens when the house isn't okay. You're telling me, Randy, you're 45. Yeah. Right? Your girl, now it's like you're getting older. She's busy with her life. You're busy with your life. The kids, mm-hmm. you know, she's taking them out. She's mm-hmm. coming home yelling at you like you never do anything, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Well, it's been her. like three weeks since you got some. You know, you're not going to be. I, I like to jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys this much fucking right now. I'll tell you this much. There's some yeah. nights, there's some nights, you know, Last we, beer, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, uh, this is, a, and this is a sound bite. Yeah. There's some nights like, you know, like I'm tired and she's tired. She's like not really in the mood and shit. Right. It's not like the movie. <laughs> 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 like, and why can't that be the thing? Right. And then, we're like, oh, we can't hold good men down. It's like, yeah, fuck man. Give some fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> you just proved my point. 45 and you haven't gotten any of that love. But, uh, I don't know. How many just, times are you going to turn the water on and go in there? Let's fuck a lot because <laughs> the thing is once the load's out then you're then you're good you know you're fucking you're mm. clear thinking you're like ah you know every you know marriage is a business contract treat it like that 
You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Treat it like that. And, you know, it's about love and trust and all the other bullshit. Yeah, oh, tika. Nyane yeah. are the overarching goal of being married. I, mm. If you don't have kids, no point to you being married. Like, you know, forget it. It's to have someone uh, progress your seed and fucking have a legacy and shit like that. Mm. I think, you know, having the family, that's the point to being married. So do you feel like there's a lot of compromises that go into... Uh, there's always compromise, yeah. man. Every single fucking day, man. Because no one's going to be exactly who you want them to be. 100%, unless yeah. you're like, you know, like you're a Drake or like a Dan Bilzerian. But you then know? again, they're still single too, right? But I think, like yeah, I mean. He, he popped out a kid and that's yeah, it. No, it's fine, tough man. to find, you know, at that level. Think about where your mind's at. You've got to be a little bit of a sociopath. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, to be And to find a partner, a woman who not only is she saying the right things, but she's acting out the right way. Because yeah. you know, you'll never know you'll what's never the know. right thing. You'll nev- never no. know that she's um, there like um, because yeah. it's for you. Absolutely. You're fucking Drake. Absolutely. Your damn Blazerian is not going to make a yeah. difference. So, I mean, uh, and think about these famous girls that like, you know, now ASAP Rocky's dating <laughs> Rihanna, right? Or married mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck they are. But like, imagine dealing with Rihanna on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. Like basis. Like, and I, I can guarantee you ASAP Rocky's like the bitch in that relationship. Guaranteed. Fact. She's probably got his her finger in his fucking forehead all day every time she <laughs> that's gets oh, up. That's fine. You know, shut that's the facts. fuck up. Who the fuck are you? You yeah. know, you can't have finger in his forehead. You know, like fucking. Oh, she did that joke. No, no well, not actually, like, but I mean, like, oh, yeah, 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 like you yeah, know, yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what okay, the fuck okay. did you no, say? Finger up his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a fucking boss, bitch. This and that, and like, hey man, if you're willing to take that secondary seat, that's fine. But again, no, I agree. One of the challenges is, you know, that influences all women. And all women think that they can do that to a bunda, but they haven't achieved what, what she has. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's the same thing. If you're a, a guy, shouldn't think they're all Dan Bilzerian either. Mm-hmm. Maybe achieve what that guy's achieved, and then you can live that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Don't pretend to be a fucking playboy when you're still a fod. Mm-hmm. And a lot of us do. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? No, like, we're, we're living these fucking fod clan lifestyles yeah. where we go on vacations to like Vegas and Scottsdale, fucking ball out for two days, yeah. come back home and fucking work our F- normal jobs. Split the fucking bill, fifteen guys. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like you think you're a fucking baller, and you know, one guy shit. doesn't send the e transfer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <He's> <laughs> so like, but yeah. So like everyone, <laughs> honestly, if you want to live a certain lifestyle, just level up, right? That's all. That's all you can do. You can, but don't fucking pretend to live that lifestyle when you what, know, you're not quite. There what about yet. the other side of you, said Rocky? He he did. He did Imp- pregnant. He's a, yeah. yeah, he's a boss for that. But I'm telling you, man. Sometimes these things, like no, I agree. It, they're shackles underneath, right? Yeah. Dealing with a woman that powerful, she's got to have some. And she has trauma, bro. Grip from Chris the- Brown. Yeah, dude. Uh, you know, I'm sure she threw some fucking gazons at him. And Chris <laughs> Brown is like, <laughs> Chris Brown's a pretty like uh, you know effeminate guy. I think Rihanna can hold her own against that guy. I'm not saying she deserved it. No, it's wrong to hit a woman any single time. But, like, you're telling me you're in an argument with Rihanna. She's not fucking grabbing your booty. She's not fucking like, I'll stab your fucking ass right now. Yeah. Like, and you, she's got paper. She's got bodyguards. Yeah. And I'll get you fucked up. Yeah. And, like, shit like that. And, like, you know, he's... She got that hood in her, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And this guy's fucking, you know, who knows what, what's going through his head. She threw his Lamborghini... Uh, keys outside yeah. Fuck he's gotta go <laughs> You know I mean When tensions are that high And you know Both of you are this powerful fuck, Rocky. Shit could go Shit could go left man That's funny Yeah he could have He could have been Rocky can't in. turn the water on man There's no way he's turning the water on Without her coming mm, in man. You know the thing is Rocky probably has to like Eat the snatch Without even getting his dick touched You know mm. <laughs> 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 That's probably a fact. Like two out of three times that they're having sex, like he's not getting his dick touched. Facts. Imagine like you know, like a Doja Cat or like a fucking Mariah Carey, hmm. who's like not nudes. But, uh, oh yeah, dumb, who's yeah. Doja Cat? Yeah, but you know what are you gonna see from her anyway? Nick Cannon. You know? She's a crazy performer, by the way. Unreal. You saw her live? Unreal. I saw her at Coachella. Oh, no. yeah, oh, you went to Coachella? Yeah, How was yeah. That? It was a good time. Good time. Getting a little too old though. Was man. it the first time that you've been? Second time. What was the difference between the first time that you went there and the I second mean, time? Second time, we were just a little bit more prepared, but in all honesty, just too fucking old now, man. Hmm. Just like, you know, like, it's the three-day bender, and it takes you a week to fucking recover. Like, you know, it's all yeah. fucked up and no sleep and mm-hmm. all the other shit that you did there. And, you know? All that grind, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just dust inhalation, yeah. walking. Do you, do you feel like now that you're in a relationship, you got to tame it down on your trips and stuff, too? No. 
No. Absolutely not. No, I will fucking I'll go where I need to go. Yeah. Um, and she's allowed to go where she needs to go. And one of the she's things allowed to go on those Vegas trips with her friends. Well, you Come know, on, Randy, luckily, you know luckily, luckily, she doesn't have too many friends to do those. Yeah. On. Um, but here, here's the flip side of it. Mm. If you are controlling, and this is where women are going to love me. <laughs> if you are too controlling, I think one form or another, it's going to fucking come out. And if somebody wants to cheat on you, there's yeah, nothing yeah. you can do to stop it. Okay. Whether it happens here, whether it happens there, it's going to fucking come to a certain point where you're going to get fucked around on. And honestly, you just have to live your life with the thought that it's not going to happen and you do you try to be respectful in your relationship where you know they don't have to fucking do that to you but mm-hmm. you can't stop anyone no, someone's going to fuck around that truth will come out eventually whether it's one year two years five years down the road you think so it'll come out someone's going to slip up somewhere mm. and at a certain point i think if uh you continue to cheat you want to get caught That's if fast. you continue yeah. Yeah. if you continue to cheat you 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 know you want to get caught right and cheating isn't like as simple as like, oh, fuck, you know, I was dancing with this chick or I was dancing with this this guy or something like that. It's, you know, did your hand go on his cock? Did you <laughs> did you guys make out, you know, shit What's like that? What's the boundary? Um, What about a little dance? Is that okay? I mean, fuck, man. If he's like body rolling on your chick and fucking have her bent over and fucking, it's a little you much. know, hand, hands on the tits, hands on the vag, yeah, yeah, that's fucking cheating. If there's like... You know, a I little bit of a that. if there's like two feet of distance. And fucking dude, I'm COVID man, six feet social distance. <laughs> fuck all that shit. Bro. You know, I. Th- but I'm just but saying, like, like, what do you mean in the situation? Like, if you're just like at the club, like. Or yeah, like, yeah, you know, but, like, it's kind like, of trying to pull up, pull like pull up, you know. It happens. You know, here's the thing. Yeah. I, I I never take my girlfriend like partying or like not like uh like. Like you guys never been be clubbing. We have, we yeah. have, but no, like, you know, for the most part, I don't do it. And I this can't. is why. It's because when they are fucking ruthless, yeah. Yeah. they're seeing this happen, yeah. but they'll like fucking, as soon as you take a step out to the washroom or like a girl walks outside, something like that, yeah. they're going to be all in there. Mm-hmm. And especially because it's only rounds. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, you know, a boys well, got a little bit more target, man. Yeah, boys got a little bit more club. Yeah, but it also depends on your girl, I feel like. Regardless, right? So. How are you going to control somebody like walking up to your girl and like talking? No, no, to her? obviously that, but it what also depends on how, you? but but it depends yeah. on how she does respond. Because some girls, yeah. I feel like, could respond in a way that to piss you off even more. I mean, it's possible. I don't think my girlfriend would do that to me. But, but you, you know, just you avoid just that situation. That's why, yeah, like I that's said, what I said, I want to go yeah, to the, yeah, yeah. the girl. Exactly, because exactly. someone's yeah. going to come start on, and now you ha- you're in a position where you have to do. something. What are you going to do? Right? You're not going to sit there and be like, oh, yeah. No, you're going to fucking yeah. Basically, the guy with his wife. Yeah. Then that's yeah. where, there, that's where you end up. I don't know if later. I'd fucking go off that much, but like I'd probably just like yeah. But his wife, you know what I'm saying, but that yeah, would yeah, probably yeah. turn yeah, into yeah, yeah. like Absolutely. over all these years, right? Yeah. Like say they're still clubbing. Like you're saying, I'm feeling too old for it at this yeah. point. Those guys are probably how much older than you at that time? Probably right? at that time, like maybe like six, seven years ago. Yeah. So, so then, yeah. even like those guys at that time were older. Then they probably grew over it probably been clubbing since they were yep. younger going yep. together doing this thing and have that relationship yeah. and that's probably what they've done I mean, and i'm sure a hundred times the guys yeah. had some fucking bitch come on into it yeah absolutely and that's ways. a clubbing's a big thing out here in our culture eh? like I, for the fuck, i mean again man it's I feel like it's out here, yeah bro. it is really shitty but i mean like, when you're young you want to you do want to party like, yeah. because as there's a, no other banda, when you're single the first thing you think oh we're gonna go get you know yeah. even though you go every night usually yeah. turns out to you jerking off <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true, man. But like that that feeling you get when you walk into the club first yeah. time, you're like, oh, oh yeah, you know man. I mean? Fucking this is some the of the five best times, guys, right? six guys behind you, yeah. the whole squad <laughs> up. Who's yeah, you got yeah, the yeah. table? Got yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah, Amex. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time, man. But you know, again, like it is like I've been you know all around the world at this point now, and you know partying in Vancouver does suck. Now is that because? On vacation, you have a different energy, yeah. and you're more down to fucking mm-hmm. party and you know talk to girls and you know do all that kind you of stuff. Be judge. more open. You don't yes. feel like you, people are yeah. watching you. So yeah. that could be part of it. Because I feel like that's a big probably better, mm-hmm. better scenes, man. Yeah. You've this traveled. place, this place is you know there's a certain poison that lingers in the sky. I get, I feel like we'd have to get somebody else's perspective to kind of see how vice versa. Here's the thing, just with our culture in itself, because I would, you know, I, I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but in the club, usually if there's other brown girls, you're more likely to approach them. Yeah. But our community, yeah. Probably, yeah. our community never really grew up to be 
pro-sexual revolution or fucking, you know, throw the pussy around or whatever the fuck it is, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, we have this inherent layer of defense already. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, our parent, my parents didn't teach me about, you know, yeah. talking to girls or having sex or anything like yeah. that. And, like, I, I don't know if I'll have, be able to have that conversation with my kids. Right? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're playing the prevent, yeah, like, yeah, from the start yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Your you kids know, are going to be watching your TikToks, man. Well, you know, that, that is what <laughs> it is. Like, prevent defense. You know, God has a funny way of giving guys like me daughters, which is fine. You know, I look forward to that more. Oh, <laughs> you know, so I can, you know, shape them the right way. Be like, yeah, don't ever go That's for anyone so like true, me. though. <laughs> you know? I've seen that happen. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it's yeah, happening yeah. a lot. Everyone's got daughters now. My yeah. brother just had two daughters, and he's even more strong-armed than me. <laughs> but that's how that's how God usually works, and it's like now it's like you know we can shape our daughters to you know respect themselves. Yeah. Whereas this previous generation maybe they didn't have that. Yeah. And like that's uh, that's a lot why they're willing to fucking deal with guys who are shitty to them and treat them like crap, because our parents' generation they still had this thing where it's like oh if I had a daughter like fuck man like you know I don't have a son to carry on my legacy. Yeah. So they don't know how to talk to the daughters. And this in turn leads into a relationship that's like not necessarily the best. And what does that lead into? You have daddy yeah. issues per se. And, you know, you don't end up respecting yourself. So you'll deal with the bullshit of another guy who shows that he cares 30% of the time yeah. or 40% of the time. Of the time shows you the same toxic traits. Yeah. And he's a fucking dickhead majority mm -hmm. of the time. But then like they'll be like, oh, no, I love you. I love you. You know, you please. He's still craving it. Yeah. yeah. It's a toxic Yes. City. And that's it's that's a vicious psych cycle. Psychology one oh one. You know, what's that bullshit thing girls always say? It's like, why do you like? Uh, why do girls like bad boys? It's like, because in school you're taught if a guy's mean to you, he likes you. So and we allow that. From oh. We allow Ooh. that. You know, we we say that that's fucking normal. And any banda that's who's facts. fucking nice, oh fuck this guy, he's a weirdo. Flip side. The Bande who are like the nice guys up front, they're fucking usually the darkest assholes ever, man. Oh, they're yeah. fucking scumbags. They're just trying to be nice to like creep into the pussy. And these are the guys that are fucking, you know, cutting off bits <laughs> of your hair and keeping them in their pocket and shit like that. <laughs> Where fucking, does that come from, Randy? They're fucking smelling your sort of anger the there. there. I don't. Uh, I just seen it, man. Like you know, these guys fucking. They try to like. Creep you think in it's there. a sh it's a show, right? It's a show, man. It's, it's all bullshit. And those but guys, the chicks who do that the best. Put on it, a actually show. Expand, expand on that. Expand I on that. feel like they're really good at putting on a show in a lot of situations, yeah. whether it be in front of like a mother in law, be in front of a family event, or be in Depends on how bad you want really. to. If it's and in it front of a mother in law, it's because she really wants to put on and a show. It, and then it's like a, you're a different person when it's like compared to like in s different situations. I feel like they can cloak their identity more than mm -hmm. they can. Of course. Of course. Because look. look but I feel like the I, nice guys <laughs> compared to that. Like time no, but in the as a bunda, yeah. right? You're bringing a girl home. Mm -hmm. You're gonna want her to show a good side. Yes. Yeah, so course, when she cloaks course. that bad side, you're not gonna be like, no, mom, she's like this. No, no, no. <laughs> Behind the yeah, doors, yeah, mom, yeah, she's yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. The only time you're gonna really say that shit is if you and her break yeah. up. Then you're gonna be like, well, mom, you know, mm -hmm. you don't know half the shit she used to do yeah. behind your yeah. back. Moms are gonna find out because they're also women. Yeah. And I didn't realize this growing up, like you know, because I always you know saw my mom as my mom. <laughs> but you know when you get older and you start having a little bit better understanding you realize she's a lady as well yeah. who's a fallible character who loves doing juggling up, who loves gossiping <laughs> uh, who loves who loves fucking yeah, getting yeah, into yeah. the nitty gritty the, the nitty gritty potato yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. They, they do that yeah. you know what I mean so they have this other fucking thing and like you know women in general hate each other but they are kind of more like benefit of the doubt type of guys like oh no koini. it's just little shit man like you know certain things like you know my girlfriend will like say something like oh you know i don't really like that guy who's like one of my buddies right yeah and then she'll say like, you know that's that seed <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. that fucking seed yeah. that grows in. if you don't nip that shit right now yeah you know it grows into this thing and now all of a sudden you haven't seen your buddy in fucking years because they don't get at you with like right there and you're like oh yeah i'm done with this guy hmm they say one thing and it's like, okay, they'll let it settle for like, you know, two, three weeks, you, you know, yeah. and then like you'll have another conversation, maybe another social gathering where he's there. And then like everything went good for 99% of the time. But that 1% of the time he showed that characteristic and she, and then they'll bring that part back up. It sticks Be in like, you see, you yeah. know, he did that again. Mm -hmm. You and then now all of a sudden like, oh maybe maybe you, maybe you did. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> fucking with you. And then fucking so that's the second time and then again months go by same fucking thing. 
And it's like, oh, he did that. And now all of a sudden, like, because our memories are so shitty anyway, hmm. you just start thinking about the sticking points. Be like, okay, she said X, Y, and Z. And she's right. This guy does kind of put me down a little bit. I need to cut this guy off. And now all of a sudden, you know, the girl is just like, yeah, see, I told you. I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one looking out yeah, for you. Yeah. You see? Yeah, Randy. But, you know, you show that fucking weakness. And next <laughs> time you get into a fight, it's like, hey, listen. I was like, remember I told you I was right about that? Maybe yeah, I'm right yeah. about this too. And, you know, Bundy, we got to be aware of that. You got to be mentally strong enough to fucking how do you, see How do you shit. deal with that? And how do you, like, kind of uh, uh, almost, like, point it out? Or, like, um, fuck, man. Have the fights early. And I don't yeah. think, like, y- you shouldn't sweep shit under the rug. You shouldn't pretend shit's okay. Something's bothering you. Fucking let it out there. And be like, you know, if something like that said, be like, yo, you know what? Like... You keep your opinion to yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you got an issue with me? I, I, you know, you got an issue with me? You tell me. Yeah. Don't be talking about my friends. Fucking, you know, I knew them a lot longer than you. But as a couple, you're also growing. So don't forget that it might just be a phase. Absolutely. Right? Like, even if that happens, it might just be a phase that, like, okay, wait, we got to now grow up and grow out of this phase. Mm-hmm. And I was like, let's set some boundaries. Right? Now, here's the flip side to that. And I've seen it with my own life. If you do not have that uncomfortable conversation at the beginning shit tends to not get better people don't just change they need to have things happen in their life experiences where they they change you're not like like okay you can spend 10 years doing the same fucking job doesn't mean you're gonna become a millionaire yeah. you have to actively stretch and fucking go forward and like you know do things that'll help you go you're not gonna work one job and like all of a sudden you're gonna have a million dollars in your bank account yeah you have to stretch same thing in the relationship it's not just going to get better. They're probably going to get worse because they're going to continue on that unless they feel some resistance along the way. Yeah. And then now you can feel like, okay, you know what? Maybe I was wrong there. I can change it up. And even if they don't admit it to you, they admit it within themselves. Okay, I was wrong there. Like I'm not going to go. I need to switch up. Not type of thing. I remember the unpleasant feeling yeah. and fucking there it is. On the flip side, like, you know, it's the same thing with Bundy where you get into a fight. Like maybe you're acting like an asshole. You get punched in the face one day, right? Yeah. That, punch in the face is like extremely beneficial for i think any single human being yeah because like hey you know that was pretty unpleasant i didn't like getting punched in the face maybe i shouldn't act like that (laughs) (laughs) you get into a a scrap you get into something that puts you in a bad situation where you can learn from where you can learn from makes you reevaluate otherwise everything's easy everything goes straight for you and you're acting like a fucking dickhead your entire life you just act like a bigger dickhead you're just kind of sliding along (laughs) and you act like a bigger dickhead because no one's ever checked you yeah and then as you get older it's hard to teach a dog new tricks and now fucking you know again like people get into things where it's like if they made some money with their shitty personality where nobody showed them any resistance Mm. now everything is like okay like i'm right i fucking made some money i've had some sort of monetary success and like you know what i'm doing must be right Mm -hmm. you know and then like now it's like a fucking bigger hill to climb this happens man i mean this is just how's since we're seeing a softer side of randy how's your relationship with your mom Mine? Yeah. Great. Yeah. How, how is it? She's like, a she's a woman, you know, she nags me all the yeah. time, but you know, how she's do you, how mom. do you deal with that? Because I feel like you know you talk about how like, you know, you obviously she has those same it's, conversations that probably fucking dealing with your mom's always gonna be different, man. Like it's just you know, she's your mom at the end of the day, right? Yeah. You know, like she's your first love, I mm. guess. <laughs> you know, you can kinda <laughs> say that kind yeah, of thing. No. And it's just like um there's no real, I, I don't know. I haven't really learned how to cope with that. Like, we have a pretty good relationship. Like, yeah. it's, I'd say, 98% positive. Yeah. 2%, you know, just the nagging, bitching, all that kind of shit. Do this, do that for me. But that's, I think that's just normal. Like, as Opernay, we are often mama's boys. We're looked after. You know, yeah. you're the guy, you know, like, fucking laundry's done for so long. Meals are cooked. Fucking, yeah. uh, you know, everything, right? So... Yeah, my relationship with my mom's pretty good, and I think that has helped me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Relationship with my dad's great as well, you know, so just, you know, I think a big thing in our issue in our community is that we can't really talk to our parents, and um, mm-hmm. that often leads to us being raised by our friends yeah. and fucking other people. Like, you know, I'm I can so have candid, true. yeah, I can have candid conversation with uncles of mine. Like, you know, about bitches and shit like that. And maybe my dad could have a conversation like that with somebody else, but me and him could never have that conversation. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Bitches. <laughs> 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 
um, <laughs> what conversations are you having with your uh, uncle? I don't know. Like, you know, like, 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 uncle be like, wow. Yeah. Uncle oh, don't would, worry. Yeah. Shout out. Shout yeah. out to our cha cha. Yeah. yeah. Regina. But you know, yeah. just like, you'll do my shit like that. You know, yeah. like, and like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that, yeah. those are the conversations. I'd be like, yeah, fuck. Um, does your girlfriend have a relationship with your mom? Um, somewhat. Yeah, my girlfriend's kind of introverted. Is that important for you? Um, I think long term, yeah, it has to be. Because like you, you're saying, uh, this is somewhat. You're yeah, feeling. absolutely. So you probably be. want her to be somewhat. Into you know what? It's um, people warm up at their own kind of pace, pace too. Yeah. Um, I have a great relationship with her mom. You yeah. know, we talk and shit all the time. She's got a pretty good relationship with my mom. Like, there's respect there, and like you know, she buys her stuff on Mother's Day and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. So it's good, but like I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, shit like that. It's, it's the gesture, right? But like, Flowers, my girlfriend yeah. is pretty introverted, so like you know, she doesn't really like know how to converse per se. Punjabi on you? Yeah, she knows Punjabi. Okay. She knows Punjabi, yeah. but yeah, she doesn't just then. You know, th- that's just kind of how it goes. So things take time on that end, but again, you're gonna have to push for that too, right? Yeah. On the flip side, <laughs> this is the the the, t- the quote of the day. On the flip side, <laughs> on the flip, you side. know. The longer ladies tend to hang out with each other, the more they hate each other. You think mm. so? That's a fact. <laughs> Man, best friends fucking that are girls will have a great conversation. Two yeah. minutes after, be like, oh, this fucking bitch is so annoying. You know, this yeah, and that. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and yeah, that, you don't spend a lot of time How do you together. avoid like, you that with time you, don't, you, don't, you, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. They're, They're going to live together one day. They're going to see each other every day. They're going to wake up to each other. You're going to have to have, especially in our generation, unless you're going to move out, you're going to have to have a little bit of separation in the house. Nobody wants to live in the basement. You know, that's, that's fucking shitty mm-hmm. long term. So you have to set up your future houses if you do decide to live that, like with each other, where it's like you live side by side. Are you living yeah. with your parents? Or are you gonna? Um, I think I think it would turn into that kind of situation. You do like a side by side. Like I got my own house. We're fucking yeah. good. But like you know, we're close by. Yeah. You know, because my brother moved out and like he's got his own place. So like one of us is gonna have to stay, in with in essence, parents. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I th- I think that's probably the only way to combat this. Yeah. And like while everyone wins and has their own fucking thing, because the chicks of these days, man. Bro, that's a big issue. Mother in laws and. Daughter in laws, and no like one's right though. Situation. The mother in law is wrong too, though. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. telling you, the more the older you get, the you start to realize, like, you know, like my mom was wrong in that situation, or like, you know, this other person, my auntie was wrong in that situation. Yeah. Whereas, like, before, it was like, no, my mom said it, she's infallible, she's perfect, and that's what it is. A lot of these new age chicks, yeah, they're fucking, they got their heads up their asses in another way, you know, because like they have all these dreams of like fucking doing this, that, and the other. <laughs> But they don't necessarily bring the boss bitch. Um, they have the boss bitch mentality, but they don't bring in the work ethic or fucking anything else along with them. The they want to live fucking downtown. They want to have Chanel purses. They want to have a Range Rover, all this shit. But they want to sit on their fucking ass in their sweatpants and XXL t-shirt and, you know, sit around with the fucking sour boot tea all day. Yeah. That's not how shit works. That's you, so shitty. That's fucking buddy. Imagine I got that. my buddy. He's married, right? Yeah. And he's like, man, he's like, you know, I was getting married. I'm like, fuck, you know, this is going to be pretty hype. They dated for like five years. And um, he's like, man, like, he's like the second day after we got married, he's like, I come home from work. He's like, my <laughs> my wife is sitting in fucking gray sweatpants. Her hair's done up. <laughs> no makeup. T-shirt. Baggy ass T-shirt. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? We just got married. Like, there like should I be married some- a bunda. <laughs> 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 He's like, there should be some lust and shit. And again, like, on the other side of it, like, they uh, have this certain expectation too. Like, and, and guys, especially operating, it's like, fucking make me something to eat. Like, I'm going to drink with the buddies still. I'm going to fuck shit up on my own side. I want to have my buddies over and this and that. And, like, that's going to cause some fights too, right? Because right. things change. Like, I was sitting at his house, me and two other buddies are playing fucking PlayStation to, like, Two, three in the morning. Yeah. She's got work the next day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I'm a little too old to be playing PlayStation at two, three in the morning, too. <laughs> she's probably <laughs> but pissed. She's pissed, right? And she's going to be mean, like, can, you, can you guys fucking keep it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, this Randy's wasn't the case. loud, yelling, screaming yeah. downstairs. Couple oh, pegs come in. on, man. Of course. Like, How oh. many pegs in were you? Um, I think we were just drinking beers that night. <laughs> You're probably, <laughs> probably <laughs> She's probably like, <laughs> so in the game we were Um, we were playing NHL. Nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> but, but no, that, that's so shitty when you paint that picture, bro. Like, fuck. This is the reality of it, man. Fucking. That is. It's, I mean, she's not wearing lingerie. 
<laughs> you're, not, you're not getting laundry with the fucking steak dinner and a charcuterie board. But yeah, that's you're right. How. After marriage, it seems like that excitement just goes away because now it's like I'm comfortable. That's what she were waiting for the whole time. It's like she was it's waiting marriage, for that, and when it's done, she's like, "Fuck." The wedding is what they wanted, yeah. not being married. Fuck. <laughs> that's that's what and that's impressive. what they wanted. That's what they wanted. But now you have to kind of get into a situation where we got to reassess this because, like, I'm seeing this shit in the future. Like, I'm seeing this five years in the future. Hmm. After that, yeah, you understand there's going to be a drop off. You know, they're probably not going to wear as much makeup. You know, the, yeah. the you know, like the amount of sex you're having is going to go down. Yeah. And a um, whole bunch of other shit is, is going to occur, right? Everyone would like to think that they're going to have the perfect relationship after marriage. Yeah, Chances yeah. are pretty yeah. unlikely. Oh, yeah. You have to set your um, priorities in a different way. Expectations, too, right? Expectations. You know, start focus on building the family. Go yeah. hard for your family, you know? And and that's what it is at the end of the day. Use them as a driving force to create yourself. And then, who knows, man? I mean, I don't think anybody ever forecasts divorce. Mm. Maybe there are telltale signs before you get married. But that's that next chapter that occurs after the 10, 15 years. Are you Be- signing the prenup? I mean, here's here's the thing. I think it is beneficial for everyone to sign the prenup. Um, we as Apne do have a little bit of fallback where we can kind of put stuff in our parents' names, you know, so it's not in your name, so yeah. you're not really fucked. That's yeah. good as well, man. That's weird. But on the flip side, like, there could be a situation where your parents kind of fuck you around too, right? Some crazy it, shit happens. Yeah. Because it, it, hey, it's We've all... We've seen the crazy yeah, shit Yeah, because it's all bro. an ego play, right? Yeah. Oh, if you're not going to listen to me, yeah. I'm not doing shit. I'm not signing anything over to you. It could be your house, but yeah. they have that fucking little bit of power on you, right? Yeah. Got the land title too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, it's some crazy shit that occurs, right? So, I don't know. But like, don't you feel like once you've thought of signing like the whole prenup situation, you've already forecasted a possible divorce? I think, mind? but in you know, now the the flip argument to that is simply this: it's if she doesn't have the the safety net of yeah. having half your shit. You know, then maybe you'll be more inclined to fucking work it Make out. Make it work. Yeah. Is is it not a prenup like exactly like just like you guys set your own kind of rules if you guys have a divorce? I think a lot of people have the cheating clause in it too. Like because yeah, I, I that's I that's what I, it's yeah. basically so you don't put it in the government and you kind of have your own rules towards it. So like I don't fully see the problem in yeah. it, but I mean it's just I feel like it's a stigma yeah. around prenup it. Prenup basically means that like. Uh, whatever I had uh, coming into this yeah. is mine, yeah. and whatever we build after this is ours together. Mm. Yeah. Whereas if you don't have the prenup agreement, then you know you could have whatever four or five properties going into the marriage, oh, she's and now that. she's got two of them without mm. you know blinking her eyes. You know. Yeah. That's. I mean, here's the thing. She could be the love of your life. She then could it's be a like great it doesn't runner. even matter right, at that point. Yeah. Until yeah. she's not. Yeah. yeah. Until exactly. she's not. That and switch. Then exactly. the switch. Women have this switch. They turn cold, bro. And then they're gonna be like, "Fuck you! I want yeah. your house. I want your kachi. I want you. everything." Then there's no <laughs> feeling and, towards yeah. you, Billa. Kids gone. are gone. <laughs> Dogs gone. Cats gone. Yeah. All that shit, man. I've I'm seen it, fuck bro. You. When women Dude. turn cold, it's fucking. And I'm sure some of the guys bring it on themselves, you know, like maybe they do, maybe they don't. But usually it's a fact that he was fucking some other girl. And that's usually I don't think women will get as vindictive on you if you don't get busted cheating. Hmm. Like otherwise those people, oh, this guy's a loser, fuck him. I don't even want half his shit anyway, right? It's when they catch you cheating, be like, oh, how could he do that to me? Yeah, now I'm taking all like, this shit. Bro, but I feel he, like the he's other from a different way. time. But okay, but You're what thinking a, about our time. What about that yeah. loser guy? I feel like the chicks nowadays would want to take advantage of that guy more. Well, they could hack here. What does he have? Basa. But if he's a loser, Bapu's Basa. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. if he's like what, some now fucking. Now she's married to him. She got that ring. Yeah. She got that nice car. She got that wedding she wanted. she just yeah. thinks he she, she just wakes up and she's like ah oh, this guy's a fucking fuck dude yeah that's straight she up. knows it this yeah. is going to happen with it's these, more, with these horrors of the world it's happening more you know i mean what's gonna uh, happen with them? the the <laughs> of the world <laughs> is they're gonna find some of these loser guys yeah and you know again don't fucking you know, it's not really directed at you but you know who you are <laughs> 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 but you're gonna find some parliament's guy we're gonna who, show him who yeah. <laughs> 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 you're gonna find some guy who's pretty nice and shit and like He's not like the best with girls. Yeah. 
But he's got like a good family. Maybe he's got a good career, et cetera, Some et cetera. Paper, All yeah. these fucking losers on Indian Matchmaker. You know, these are the Dill Mill. Yeah, the, the yeah, type yeah, of guys, yeah. right? Yeah, I watched that show. Yeah. <laughs> we could get into yeah. that a little bit. Here yeah. too. <laughs> but, you know, you're going to find one of those guys who has a little bit of paper from behind him. And these like type of like boss ladies, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And they're already bitter at the world because they couldn't get the guy that they wanted. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I love when, you know, any attractive girl who's a kind of a bitch says like, oh, I can get any guy that I want. No, you can't. You can get any guy that you don't want. <laughs> There's a fucking lineup of so guys. You can fuck any guy you want. Yeah, you can fuck any guy you yeah, want. Yeah. You There's a lineup of guys who will fuck you. I mean, guys are fucking Maybe disgusting. Maybe she's just using the wrong words. Yeah. You know, if she That's fucking, words. you know, you if she's like a fun. five out of 10. It'd be 400 <laughs> guys in the fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. Walmart parking <laughs> yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What if she's a 10 out of 10? Well, fuck, you know, again, you got to be a little bit more selective. Okay. Now, this has occurred where it's like, it wasn't us at the same time, per se, but, like, we were at a house, and, like, you know, this is one chick, and it was us three guys, and, like, at different parts of the night, you mm. know, we had some other girls come through and other guys. It was kind of like a party scene, yeah, yeah. but at different times of the night, like, each of us had did shit with this girl. Oh. And, like, by the end of high school, all of us had fucked her. Oh. On our hands, like, from our crew, it was eight guys who fucked her. Oh, shit. We were at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> she married another guy. That's fine. Can you imagine? Hey. So you guys, <laughs> you, you guys knew that guy. Yeah, he's your boy. Not our boy. No, definitely but, not. But definitely did he not. know that? Definitely not. We well, I mean, he was no angel himself. Okay. And so it's kind of like you know whatever came about came about. But like, were you guys making jokes? Of course. Fuck. That and that's hurt. the that's the fucking scary that's part, hurt. right? That's the scary part. But yeah. as the banda, yeah. some free if, liquor, you, got some free food. if you found Holiday. out your girl invited the banda that has, yeah. wouldn't you be like, what the, f- like, what's wrong with you? What are yeah, you thinking? Yeah. There's no thought process. The thing is like, once you've had sex with a girl, you can always get back in there. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know, they always, it's all at the doors There's open. A crack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. So I don't know. That's exa- so true. No, I yeah, know exactly. You know that, buddy. <laughs> but anyways, like we all have those other girls that were like kind of senti about too. Like there was one girl I dated. Uh, well, not dated. No, no. I went on like a date with her. Yeah, she felt like you were the one was, that got away. She was way too hot for me at that yeah. point in yeah, my yeah, life. Yeah. I was like twenty three and fucking like you know it's like the first like fucking smoke show that I had like kind of been out with right. Mm-hmm. And like you know after date number one, she just had me in her claw. You know, and uh, fuck, she knew it. Pussy whipped. It wasn't pussy whipped. She just had me. Like I was like, you know, like. You know when you fucking get anxiety when you're not getting that text back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? You, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and yeah. you're like, anytime the you're fucking waiting. phone pings, like, oh, it's a fucking email. Oh, fuck. It's mm-hmm. something else. And I had that, and I, like, I remember, like, she was just fucking with me, and we were supposed to go out on a second date, because the first date was dynamite. Yeah. But she was just fucking with me the whole time. And now the second date occurred... And we're about to go out, and then she fucking bails on me last second. Uh, no. And now, like, I feel it slipping from my hands. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to fucking do everything. Like, I'm trying to just stay in contact. I'm sending Snapchats. I'm sending, like, texts. Like, everything. Okay. Like, I'm out and yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, 100% yeah, out yeah, with the boys. Yeah, yeah. Like, I went out. There and fucking, fucking you know, put a nice fit on and yeah, shit. Like, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you think I fucking like, You know, you it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, like the night that she cancels on you, you look like, fucking, yeah. Like, yeah, whatever. I'm just going out with the boys anyway. No big deal. Yeah. No big deal. Fucking, you know. Might have a couple girls there. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends might be there. Yeah. My, my boy's girlfriend, you know, might bring your friends mm. around. You never know. Yeah. Like, you know, now you would just take us somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, now, now you're drinking all these nights yeah. and shit's getting worse. And, like, fucking, you know, they're playing that fucking game, too, yeah. doing all that shit. And, you know, it's just, like, the, the drunk part of me bypassed the logic. And I started, you know, sending some drunk messages and uh, shit like that. And then, then you're just, just on delivery. Then, then, no, but now yeah. I'm fucking crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it's like, oh, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah. And like, it took me a few of those to fucking realize, like, okay, I see what the fuck I've been doing wrong. She goes to you? Uh, at a certain point, yeah. Fuck. At right. a certain point, yeah. But, you know, again, I think at that point in my life, she was just too hot for me. And like, I didn't value myself. Where is she now? Um, I don't know. I think she's dating some guy, some drug dealer or something. Uh, okay, there you go. You know. I mean, that guy probably buys her nicer shit than I could have sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say, right? You know, I mean, hurt. buying nicer shit isn't necessarily the best. But whatever, I you mean, know. Some girls is. like that lifestyle. Whatever. Who am I to judge? You know. But um, Loki, you're judging. No, not no? really. It just it is what it is. What do you think? Anytime her name does come up in conversation, I know my boys fucking mm. do it like John Kid. Just yeah, to fucking, yeah, yeah. I just I have that fucking thing. You still have about her? Um. Well, she hasn't come up in conversation in about three years, two years. Now she has. What do you feel? No, now Nothing? I'm good. Okay. I guess I'm good. Yeah, I healed. 
Healing yeah. powers. Hey. But yeah, man. I mean, that happens to guys. Like I this, think right? guys. I've you guys. I've been through that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. It was one of those ones. You know, every. But in most I hate guys, that feeling though, man. You're mm-hmm. waiting there for the text. The thing is, as operating, we got this fucking thing where we think like uh, family future first. You know, she was a yeah. dentist, right? You're like, yeah. fuck yeah, you know, my, I found a dentist. Yeah. Pretty, you know, shit like that. Or like you find a lawyer or something like that. And you think that shit first, like, good girl, does she booze it? You know, whatever it is. And once you get that, you start, and if she is she aesthetically good looking, and then you start bypassing all the fucking bullshit that's around it. Yeah. You know, you start ignoring it. You know, no, 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 it's good. And then I've seen guys fucking, a buddy of mine. Yeah. He dated a girl for, I think, close to five years, where, like, the last two years, he kind of just held on. She was also from Portland. Maybe okay. it's the same girl. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, huh? I don't think she was a dentist. No, oh, no, no. I'm just <laughs> horsing around. But the last two years, he kind of just spent holding on. And, like, you know, writing was on the wall for us. I'm like, dude, like, I think, you know, you got to fucking shake it off and just, you know, go on. But, like. She checked out? She checked out. Okay. Um, it's a distance, right? Yeah. And COVID was it's happening hard. at this time, yeah. mm-hmm. and like you know, you c- if you're just texting someone and calling someone, you can fucking fight all day. Yeah. But girls and guys can reconciliate or reconcile when they're in physical contact. Together, you know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah. then that that energy is is a real thing. Mm-hmm. So the two years kind of split them at that point, and then he was holding on because he's a couple of years older than me, but he's like, okay, this is the girl I'm going to marry. Yeah. You know, everything's good. I've already invested all this time into this. And he wasted an extra two years holding on to something that had already let him, let him go. Yeah. And like, now you have to get back into a position where you're trying to rebuild yourself. Right. And it, he's, he's going to be fine because like, you know, he's a, he's a good guy and he's good looking, but like, you know, you go into the slump where you're fucking feeling down and now you're kind of trying to grab on to Different whatever thing, yeah. is there. Because you're like, what the in. fuck? What if so I what, never find what it? Yeah. Was it? What was it that allowed him to know, okay, this is, did she have to end it? Or was um, it? I, you know, I think it was her choice. She was and it was still her choice at the end. Fuck. You know, and that's, that's, right. that's exactly it, right? And I mean... It's one I mean, it's good for him, though. Yeah. It's it probably the best thing that's... It, yeah. Like, I don't know how long it's been, but it's probably been one of the mm-hmm. better things for him in his life. I, I think mean, what I it think is, bro. Still going through it, you know. So, yeah. but I mean, like, yeah. what you'll if it's been like, it was it recently, kind of. I think like I think he got back into the dating pool recently. But mm-hmm. the thing is, bro, like at a certain age, all you're seeing is your future. Yeah. So the hardest thing is to like be like, fuck, I've put so much time, yeah. time into, into this. this and now it's just gone. How do I just let it go? It's family yeah. pressure, right? You yeah. know, like, and, you know, they're like, okay, you know, you're at a certain age, you should get married now. You know, you should do this, you should do that. And then it, like, you start feeling, why the fuck am I not good enough for anyone? And now imagine being a female on the flip side oh, it's different. where you have the biological clock. Yeah, you know when you got that fucking you know that thirty five is looming. What's the, what, what's the number where you feel like okay now I just tried to put it. Um, as a girl or yeah. a guy? As a girl. As a girl, fuck. I mean, I feel like it's if tough. I, if you I don't like, want to settle for if, the wrong if, guy, but if by like thirty five, I'd say as a bunda, if you haven't found someone by like, what are you gonna do at thirty five after? Your whole goal in life as a man and woman. Yeah, and you know unless you're you're gay or whatever, but even if gay people <laughs> they adopt kids, they want families. Your whole goal on this earth is to have a family, okay. basically. Okay, yeah. There is, um, anyway, biologically, now, like, as we've evolved as human beings, you know, you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. You want to chop your dick off, you do that, right? It's all good. You want to live on a tribe, there's a group for that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Chopper>. <laughs> like, that's all fine, right? You know, you can live your, but your your overall root cause goal in this world is to start a family. Mm. And if you can't do that, then, you know, you do like an inventory check of what you want to be in your life. How many years did you put towards wanting to start a family? Yeah. And can you stomach the fact that this isn't going to happen for me and I'm going to change my lifestyle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, does that mean fuck everything that moves mm-hmm. as, a, as a woman or male? I don't think so. But it means just starting to live a different lifestyle and you let go of that thing like, OK, maybe I'll just get a dog. Maybe I'll just get a fish, <laughs> you know, <laughs> shit like that. I can't imagine that. Bro. It's it, 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 you know you're gonna tough. see it a lot. You're gonna see it fucking a lot. Why? Because the mentality right now is not you know looking towards that. People are more focused on their own careers, and naturally so because you can't really get ahead with one income in the household anyway. Mm-hmm. So everyone's got to be making money. And you know you don't want anyone to tell you what to do. Like maybe our moms got told what to do. And they were 
in quote unquote prisons, you know, even though they lived in fucking nice houses, they got mm-hmm. all their bills paid, you know, all they had to do was look after the house, which is a hard job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to fucking, you know, Knock minimize yeah. that. I don't want to minimize that. That's a fucking extremely hard job to look after the household. So I shouldn't say all they had to do. They had to do that, but that was their part. Mm-hmm. Now that's all of a sudden looked at as, oh, these are the fucking losers in life. You know, being a housewife is a loser. Which is these you're are not the, a boss, yeah, sure but you sh- that's you know? that's who should be praised, you know, yeah, because many of the girls, especially in our community, who are looking at it, your moms are like that, mm-hmm. you know, your grandmas were like yeah, that. Are your grandmas let, losers? Let me play devil's advocate. Mm-hmm. Women or a lot of girls growing up in our era say or don't like that image because they see what their mothers go through um, on a daily with their fathers, right? There is that could be a big reason why. Fair enough. I mean, and you know, because yo, know, let's look at it. Our girls are a lot of the girls that are saying out there are advocating for independence. Um, mm-hmm. We don't need another bunda. Yes, yeah, sure, We don't need another yeah. bunda to tell us what to do, mm-hmm. or you know what I mean. That one example where that guy had a bad home situation has influenced a variety of guys whose home situation isn't even that bad. Yeah, and they're kind of carrying forward that that kind of thing. But too, it's right? also that guy. Um, sees the lifestyle his friends are living because their Absolutely. dads come from wealthy environments. Yeah. So instead of being like, okay, well, I'm going to work a job that pays you know. me $20, live in a basement, earn a decent yeah. roti, I'm going to go out and sell drugs and live this fucking lavish yes. lifestyle and give my mom a lavish Absolutely. life, my sister a lavish life, yeah. just because I want to compare to the other guys. That Absolutely. That and th- and that is, that's a lot of what we're seeing, right? And I'm right. not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with that. Like Everyone's got their own reasons tough, to do whatever yeah. it is. But I was just using that kind of as an example as, Maybe there's a certain girl out there who has a really shitty, like, you know, controlling dad who's, like, controlling them and controlling their mom and things like that. But that person might be influencing other people that whose lives aren't that bad. That bad but yeah. now they want to fall into this shit. Yeah. Now, just because the mom maybe consults the dad with something as simple as buying furniture or something, oh, like, you know, you still have to ask him, you're fucking whipped, you know, yeah. this and that. And, like, you know, like... You shouldn't listen to dad. You know, you should fucking do this. And like now it's like, oh, like I'm suppressed. Meanwhile, no, you're, I agree. and we've, yeah. we've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you're sitting in your fucking, you know, 2015 plus house. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And, you know, you're sitting in your fucking room that has an ensuite uh, bathroom. Yeah. You got your fucking vanity math- fair. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> here. Yeah. All that shit. You know, yeah. you have fucking wallpaper and these throw blankets everywhere. Yeah, and you're going to say you're fucking typing on this blog or fucking talking to your friends and being this beacon of light yeah. and you're not your life doesn't suck and it i don't i don't have any patience for people who says facts. their life sucks it's fine when I they got everything that's in front facts. of them. i get it i get what you're saying so basically you know that there's females out there that are actually going through the struggle but then there's you're and also more power influ- to them and they're also influencing a crowd yeah. of girls like i heard a fucking she i heard some girl man she's like pat over 30 yeah and she's complaining about how her father has money mm-hmm. but doesn't buy her a Porsche or, like, you know, complaining. And she's single, blah, blah, blah. And she's a fucking complaining, bro. Yeah. She's like, my parents are so rich, yet they don't fucking get me shit. Have this, like, sense of fucking entitlement. Yeah. And, bro, I look over at my girlfriend, I'm like, what kind of friends you fucking got? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, like, at a certain point, grow up. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, Look, there's a reason why you're single. Yeah. Right? You have this sense of entitlement because you've gotten everything all your life. And you're sitting there. Bro, Mm -hmm. it blew my fucking mind. I get it if you're, like, young. But if at 30 plus, you still haven't grown and you're still complaining like a fucking 16-year-old on why you're dad hasn't bought you a certain vehicle <laughs> bro it blows my fucking mind you know that's gonna be part of the reason why they're single is like you know which guy who's gonna be your age unless i guess he's an anomaly and like he comes from a very wealthy background who's gonna be able to provide that yeah. you know what i mean who's gonna be able to hold up to that standard that like oh you know my dad did x y and z for me yeah. you need to do that right off the bat yeah. men we're building ourselves until we're at least like i think i don't think a man gets settled until he's like like 40-ish, yeah. where, like, he's actually, like, you Taking know, now I'm fucking, steps, yeah, yeah, now I'm fucking in the mix of, like, starting to make some money. Everything else is just building and fucking up and building and fucking up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the time you're 30, maybe it, it gets less um, consistent, but, you know, m- for my instance, I'm still, you know, I can tell you this from being 31, I'm still figuring shit out. Mm-hmm. Even though that I have, the path is laid out for me, yeah. I know what I need to do, but in terms of building myself to where that next level comes, yeah. still figuring it out. And you, you're a 30-year-old woman 
who's already fucking pissed because you've seen her cousins and friends getting married around you. Mm. And you're like, why Fox. the fuck isn't it happening to me? You know, I'm fucking good. That girl's such a stupid bitch. Like, how the fuck did she land Fox. a guy? Yeah. The guys that you date are going to be not good enough because you're, you know, you think your dad should buy you a Porsche. So that means fucking the next guy has to buy you a Porsche. If your dad's not taking care of you, the guy should. Yeah. And now, even if you find somebody who's financially, you know, able to give you those things, why is he going to be loyal to you? Yeah. Why Why are you nothing more than pussy to him? Yeah. When he's got a fucking, probably a wide array of girls that, you know, will party with them, you know, just go out to bottle service or dinner. But in a sense, he's taking on a burden. Absolutely. Nobody right. wants a bill. In the bag. Like, Nobody why? wants a fucking bill. And like, I actually told my girlfriend that from the day one, like, you know, I was like, you know, guys don't get into relationships because they want a bill. You better be working. You better be fucking doing your own shit. Fox. Unless you want to listen to my shit yeah. forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? Yeah. If you want to listen to my shit forever, you want to fucking suck my dick on command, you know, fine. I'll figure something out. I'll fucking, I'll start providing at the highest capacity that I'm able to. Yeah. But, you know, you're your own person and I expect you to be your own person. And I'm still jerking off in the washroom. I'm still jerking off in the <laughs> washroom, you know? So you better be, wa you better be fucking getting your shit together. All right. And that, and that's, I think that's, that's healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, because you don't want your you know, how we how our dads had it, yeah. With the moms home all day, you know, our moms at least had duty, you know, and they were like, okay, we need to keep the the house clean, food made, clothes pressed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These other yeah. chicks, man, these days they're just gonna fucking sit at home, and you know they'll do some of the household tasks that they need to do, but they're gonna be like, oh no, fuck that, fifty fifty, yeah. And you know this guy will wash the pondy or this and that, which guys should pull Help their own me. weight. They should pull their own weight, hundred percent. But the girls need to understand <laughs> if the, yeah. Yeah. no, no, I'm angry at that. No, one. <laughs> it's true. I don't know, but pulling but your the own thing weight. is, what is pulling your own weight? Pulling your own weight is like you gotta understand it's both your house. Well, if she's gonna sit at home and while you're at work, you're you're telling me to come home and fucking help you fucking do it's, the laundry. You know, if if they're if they're not doing it, you better have a reason as to why you didn't do it. Yeah. What did you do instead? And what okay. did that take you fucking the eight hours that I was out Indian fucking winning bread? Yeah. You know, <laughs> but did you fucking, did you put in the eight hours of work like I just did? Yeah. And if you did and you have a real reason, then no problem. Yeah, maybe I do need to help out. Maybe shit was fucking hectic. But they're going to be sitting at home on their fucking TikTok watching other bullshit and like other people living their fucking dream lives. Fox. You know, there are other couples like fucking in Greece or some other Fox. fucking. Sending you. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like, oh, I want this. This bullshit, you know, <laughs> oh, we should go here, we should go there, yeah. you know, like, fuck, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, so you're doing all that shit. And now, and then the other flip side uh, of it is like, how come he's not home? What's he doing? I'm just thinking about ways to fuck you over all day. Yeah. <laughs> how can I make this guy's life even <laughs> shittier? <laughs> you get home, oh. like, you know, you had a long day, and then it's like, oh, yeah, no, this, <laughs> this needs fixing, that needs done. And that's when guys seriously start to, they just fucking, you know, fold into themselves. They fucking mm -hmm. hollow out on the inside. And, you know, there's a reason why our dad stayed outside, man. Why they worked so long. Bro, why, <laughs> why, why, the more you talk about it, bro, yeah. like that future just looks so dark and gloomy, man. Again, man, you have to make it more about, you know, like, you know, you have to make it more about your priority. Yeah. You're building something for your family. Not you know you're not. It's your own legacy at the end of the it's day. It's not whether your the honey, fucking yeah. bitch is there or not. You know you guys watch Breaking Bad, I assume. Yeah. You know Gus Fring has a sick fucking line in there where he's talking to Walt when he tries to get him back into the super lab. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, you know, he's like a man provides, even mm -hmm. when he's fucking disrespected, even when you know his kids hate him, his wife hates him, he Everybody. does it because he simply bears, and that's what a man does. Yeah. And that's your fucking over like arching goal. Can you go on the vacations? Can you still enjoy? your day while providing for your family and fucking chat it up with your friends. Your wife's going to let you down, dude. And you're going to let her down. Fuck. Your kids are going to let you down. I let my parents down all the time. <laughs> Here I am on a Tuesday fucking drinking beers and podcasts. <laughs> you know, I mean, what are we at? Yeah. We're good. We got, we got, we got 20 yeah, minutes. Nice. You know? <laughs> but, you know, shit's going to, you know, people are going to let you down consistently. Your friends, your family, your cousin. And that's it, man. You know, life is hard and then you die. <laughs> Make it the best you can, man. Do some you got fucking. One chance, right? Do some cool shit. I don't know. Maybe you got more than one chance. I don't know. 
I don't know that. I haven't read the book. Well, that have far. you thought about uh, more? Because remember, you were reading that one book the last time we did this. And that was about book of law or whatever. Do yeah. you still believe in a lot of those things? And I think. Do you feel like a lot of those agenda things that you used to talk about are coming more and more true it's to happening this day? Now, man. You see more dicks than you've seen. Well, <laughs> well, and then she's seen vagina. <laughs> I've seen so many. A lot of girls are claiming uh, AP now, man. AP. Oh, I fucked AP. I fucked I'm really? A lot, man. Yeah. Well, fuck. It's a good notch to have under your belt, I yeah. guess. Is you it? Know? Is it really? He's a hot guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's got, <laughs> no one's ever says I, they fucking the really I feel, bro. End of the day, man. <laughs> if there is no GG, there is no AP. Absolutely. Scotty Pippen and yeah. Michael Jordan, man. Mm. That's it. That's fine. I mean, I AP don't realized it the hard way when he tried having that little separation. People start coming at him like, "Where's GG?" You know, it's the the issue is the YouTube comments actually will fuck that relationship up harder than anything yeah. Yeah. because everyone says GG's better, GG's this, yeah. GG's, but GG's not the star. Yeah, AP's the star because the looks, because the looks, yeah. and just overall, like you know that that's yeah. that's the brand. Yeah, and you know the issue with Opera is that someone's gonna be like, "Oh, like fuck, you know what? I am better than this guy musically." Yeah, but musically is fucking. It's a small fraction of it is. Yeah. It's not just music. It's, it's the fucking everything, right? Everything. Yeah. You know, you're not you're not GG without AP either. Yeah. You're just some fucking guy who does bowling at a fucking Maya party. And you know? nobody <laughs> talks about, you know, I always feel like nobody talks about that other side that like Absolutely. yeah, GG's or AP's nothing well GG, but it goes vice versa. Yeah. Because, because and at the end of the day, like he still did just drop his own fucking thing by himself. So well, he did do it. Everything in this life is a business, especially at that level. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like it's the same thing with UFC, like the Conor McGregor's of the world. Yeah. There's better fighters out there maybe, but who's the total package? Yeah. Who's the business? Who can we make the most money off Who's of? Are some of the? Uh, I'm the diehard fucking Conor McGregor fan. Yeah. You know, I got his booty tattooed on my ankle. Yeah, Actually? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> yes. You put it in the camera or what? Maybe. Oh, oh shit. Diehard, you know, notorious over. I'm a diehard fucking fan. Yeah. But was he spoon fed some fights? Yeah. Was some drug tests maybe overlooked. Hundred percent. You know, was he was, some, looking real juicy, he was fucking yeah. Broke. Was yeah. was some shit overlooked? Was you know, I I wouldn't say dives, but you know, were there certain benefits that were fucking accrued in that time because of who he was, because of how much he transcended the sport? Yeah. Anytime stakes are that high, I think people are gonna shift the fucking, mm-hmm. you know, the the odds in one way or another. The only thing I say, the O'Malley <laughs> fight was rigged. Yeah, I well, definitely. Bro. That there's fucking. I mean, Peter Yan's pretty fucking sick too. But O'Malley, you're not gonna sell like O'Malley. Yeah. Dana knows him, man. Dana's got the whole nut but vibe. And yeah, like, absolutely. Like got, he's got that vibe. You know, here's the thing. Usually, when robberies like that happen, Dana will fucking say like, "Oh, that was the biggest robbery." He fucking went to the press conference. Yeah, it was a close fight. Yeah, that's not a close fight. No chance, <laughs> it was real bad. I looked at this guy. I was like, I bro, feel, if O'Malley wins, though, I feel like okay, yeah, maybe O'Malley doesn't win that fight, but I feel like he really showed up and he proved to a lot yes, of people that he absolutely. belongs more than absolutely. Anything. But bro, when you're absolutely. when you're in mixed martial arts, it doesn't matter what you show up for. And he was fucking bro. Pounding. He got he got fucking taken down what seven times. Yeah. And ground and pounded. Yeah, but we he watched got, that fight he too. He got bro. zero Yan takedowns. Got fucking, yeah, but yeah, he's not a third for every artist. every time O'Malley dropped Yan, Yan dropped him back. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, so you're telling me the guy hit him back just as many times, and had got more the takedowns. takedowns. Yeah, okay, but if we just go off like, okay, this guy had more takedowns, this guy had more of this, whatever typical thing. Okay, O'Malley had more significant strikes. So if we're just looking, what at is like it? But the significant strikes is the most. It's the most skewed stat. But then it's like the same thing with a grappling. It's like okay, I can just fuck. Can hump this guy all day. I'm gonna win yeah, the fight. Yeah, but control is is always gonna be a little bit. I'll more be honest, like, bro. When you're in mixed martial arts, you gotta look at every aspect of the sport. It's That's not, why it's yeah, mixed martial arts. It's not like O'Malley didn't get decked numerous times in that yeah, third he round. Got he got O'Malley's fucking crazy. O'Malley's a boxer. Yeah. I mean, if he wants to go into a boxing ring and yeah, he's, and, he's and, doing this shit. Yeah. And like, this is counting as a significant strike yeah. just because he's touching a, a quick job. And mm-hmm. like, you know, it's so easy to skew that stat for the consumer and be yeah. like, oh yeah, maybe he did. But look at the significant strikes, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So, so how are you going to take that away from Yan? But end of the day, I'd rather have yeah. O'Malley win too. So yeah, I mean, it's better for the sport. Yeah. You know, better like, for the sport. But overall, like, what I mean is, like, when when the odds are tipped in a certain favor and, like, you got to look at it like that, we're back on the fucking AP thing. Y- you got to look at the whole picture. 
who who are you without AP? Hmm. You know, you're not you're not anyone. Yeah. Even though you're musically talented, there's numerous new musically talented people that never fucking go. Is um, it's like producers intense had the biggest yeah. song with them excuses, yeah. but he didn't I, really get. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we can talk about like something. I don't know, you know, like like Rock him is voted as one of the best. Um, uh, MCs. MCs of all time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is he bigger than Drake just because no. he's musically talented? Mm-hmm. No. That's a fucking fact, man. That's Facts, a marketing yeah. thing. It's no, everything. Yeah. Same thing with like J- like yo, know, see when we take today's generation, like a J. Cole compared to that. Like he's well, J. A Cole more, is at a he very is, high level. But yeah. at the same time, like say you compare mm-hmm. him to Jake, just J. Cole's being not that as lyrical much as fucking type little of little baby right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? Little because baby's a fucking guy. Yeah. yeah. And he's just fucking yeah. And J. Cole's much better at MC. Yes, lyrical, of course. But that, I mean, that's always. But then going back great. to that whole GG situation, I think it's only shitty because as a as a people, like I, what I see is like a bond that started off as just for music. It wasn't no like yeah. I'm better, you're better, this that. But then when it turns into something, it becomes a situation. Okay. About and that. I feel like it's a and whole other that. thing that like okay, nobody like appreciates it now, and they're gonna be like regretting it later. Like the whole Sidhu thing, like everybody happen. used to the co- brown compare boys. about fucking yeah. those guys. They used to say that, and then everybody was a fucking kumbaya when yeah. it, something happened, right? Yeah. You know, it's always gonna be the case, and with opening especially, yeah. the jealousy is gonna fucking Stir the always ball. seethe because we as opening all just. You know, again, people started scrapping within their own families for whose is what and like why my value to the overall business was better than yours. Than yours. Yeah. Or like fucking, you know, oh yeah, like, you know, you were able to make business moves because I was here doing this other side of things. Yeah. And who's whose fucking portion is more, you know, better. better. Yeah. And th- I think that's just kind of where it comes down to. It's and it's Opernay, man. Yeah. Opernay are going to be tough. You know, I think Grinder Gill is fucking doing I a lot mean, of drugs. Like, <laughs> oh, you think so? I think he's been partying a lot, man. Yeah. Fuck, I honestly like. He looks pretty. I honestly out. like his voice. I love yeah. it. I, I think, think he's amazing. I think he brings. I out think the he song, is better man. for sure. Yeah, but it's it, that's one one. That one lyric, man. Yeah. Like when he comes in there, man, it's like GG's in the house. You know what I mean? No, mm-hmm. he's, he is the best musically, but that just is. But AP's face is gonna sell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's it. I think that's good. I think we're pretty close. All right, boss. Um. Thank you, Randy, for Absolutely coming on. Absolutely none. Round two. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I feel like the first one, we were a little bit more lit, more drunk, whatever the yeah. situation might be. But it was like a bit more harder. It was more like... It was more yeah. tamed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was much more tamed. Um, yeah. So we appreciate having you Absolutely on. Absolutely. I don't know how t- much more tamed it was. Regular no, guests. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there were spots where, yeah, you know, yeah. we said some things, but I'm sure, like, everybody... Either way, someone's going to take something out of context yeah, in yeah, today's world. Make sure you put those... Let us know what we said wrong. They'll be on TikTok, don't worry. And, you know, I'll put the things back on. I see... Here's the thing. There's always going to be a certain disagreement, but, like... We got to start opening up the channels of communication, Mm -hmm. you know, and like, let's not fucking, I I think we ended this one off last time with the same thing, Same, but let's not fucking just assume someone's a piece of shit on either side. Mm -hmm. Let's sit down. Let's talk it out. Be fucking able to admit like, okay, I'm wrong. You know, civil, let's fucking figure it out. And I guarantee you come up with more similarities. Then Let's get to know each other. You know what I mean? Let's get to know each other. And and follow Randy on OnlyFans. It's coming (laughs) soon. (laughs) About $39.99 per month. (laughs) That be sick. <laughs> you know when the, the sale every day is popping up sale on today you know it's on yeah, sale yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, free but, for 30 days <laughs> yeah it'll send you private videos uh, but yeah so um, that's the Banes and Beers um, thank you for tuning in whoever tunes in and um, we're looking forward to having some more I can't take no love.